What's going on? Oh, I forgot my applause. God damn it. You retard. Yay. Uh, listen, it's been a hell of a day. Snow, snowstorms, everything like that. But what's going on, guys? Welcome to Tuesday Night Mayhem. I still need to get with Bug to edit the intro and everything because I want to throw you guys into the intro as well. But uh, how are we doing tonight? You, you guys warm? Night, I'm nice fine. and happy. No, freezing. <laughs> I'm fucking cold. You're in California. Uh, How cold could it be? <laughs> it's, it's snowing here. It's cold as shit. <laughs> this has I mean, been one of the coldest weeks in Arizona so far. It's uh, 41 degrees right now. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Seriously, go fuck yourself on that one. The high that was ridiculous. yesterday. That was real nice. I think right now we're in like the 30s. No, 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 no. 16 degrees outside. Yeah, I was going to say, you're colder than that. Yeah, and we're supposed to get down to the zeros this weekend. So, yay! And below below zero a few t- days. But uh, all around, uh, let, let's introduce our panel. Devil made me do it. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, happy to be here on this uh, Tuesday. On this Tuesday. What did you think about the Jewish people digging tunnels to go find you? <laughs> is that why they were digging? They're all like, yeah. you know what? We gotta find that son of a bitch. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I can't figure it out. I don't know why they did. That that's the only question I have is why were they digging tunnels? Like I to think get it was in be- or to get out or I don't to get know. in. I believe for worship. They weren't allowed to wor- like, or is it? I think is it was because during the, COVID. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Well, that makes sense then. Then yeah, they were right. Fuck the government. Yeah. They're they took, they took a bunch of tunnels. I, I stand by my tweet. Is this the opposite of Fiddler on the Roof? I stand by that tweet. But uh, Static. How Hello. Are you, are you doing are, well? Do you have a fiddle? Do I have a fiddle? Yeah. No, I do not have a fiddle. I only have guitars. He's asking you about your penis. Oh, no, I fiddle my penis. Well, I mean, I fiddle my penis. On the roof? Sometimes it has to be a flat roof. I can't work. I can't work the angles real well. Oh, I love working the angles. Perfect. We know. Jeremy's obsessed with the angle. You prefer circular angles. Yes. Yes. I'm terrified of most holes and stuff like that. But uh, static, how are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Uh, it's Tuesday. Happy to be here. Uh, last night something kind of was just birthed out of nowhere i was talking was planning on uh maybe trying to stream the debate or something last night and really that's just not possible and who wants to watch nikki haley and uh, ron DeSantis? i don't no one no one cares you know if if vivek was there it would be a different story but i guess he didn't qualify or something so anyways no uh he was barred from it cnn barred him yeah so the article i read said he didn't no one else qualified except for DeSantis and Haley. Um, anyway, so I'm talking to Nerdy Neo and Shaka Zulu, and starting two weeks from yesterday, we're going to do a fortnightly, just straight political show following the election and shit uh, on Mondays called the Monday Night Bloodbath. Hmm. That sounds interesting. And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing my screen here, this is going to be the logo. Ooh. You're playing around with cat, uh, GIMP again? Uh, d- stable diffusion. Oh. Loading, loading. Ooh, ooh. Nice. I like that. That's cool looking. So, yeah, starting two weeks from yesterday, 7 Pacific time on my channel with nerdy neo and shaka zulu and then anyone else whoever just wants to jump in and on what day? Uh, talk shit what's that what day uh the official date is the 22nd on a 22nd. monday 22nd yeah i'm busy mondays i know i i know i'm sorry guys I'm sorry. i didn't I'm have many quiet. options i'm staying quiet but I'll- <laughs> i know i'm sorry it's only every other week so there's that well, it, listen it's a, it's a, i'm listen you're doing a different side of topic so you're not exactly you're doing politics and it's completely different right every yeah. every time you put out the tweet i'll quote tweet it saying it's bath time <laughs> you know? 
All right. <laughs> I'm bad. Mondays. <laughs> I got I got to cut out some time for myself and Mondays are basically one of the few days I don't do. You get time to yourself? <laughs> yeah, time. I miss time to myself. It's the only time me and Sally actually get time together. Oh, I have to make Is Sally your palm? <laughs> yeah, Sally Palmer, <laughs> five sisters. I got light a few candles, make an evening of it, you know. It's nice. So Cern sings to it. <laughs> Cern yep. means, I want to you kiss you over. Now, you'll take away the greatest part of me. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, you know what? We Sally does have another good friend. Adam the Rose on Stirred. How are you and Sally doing right now? Who's Sally? Sally Palmer and her five sisters. Oh. His hand. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, uh, I deal with no. her twin sister and her at the same time. So anyway, uh, I'm fine. It's been I didn't a, know it's you been put a, it's, stuff it's, up your butt. It's been a, it's been a, tu- it's been a Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to do this. I was a boomer today. I was going to stream on Renaissance Nerd Arcade, but uh, ha- ha- it's been three years almost now since I initiated streaming. I forgot that you have to tell YouTube that you need to do it, and then they put you on cooldown on your channel for 24 hours. So oh, yeah. no really? game until tomorrow on Renaissance Nerd Arcade um, because I'm a boomer and I forgot. But yeah, it's, it's been Tuesday. It's all right. It's my actual birthday today. Uh, Devil and I we had a good birthday. time last night. I, th- I think I held up okay. We made it. <laughs> Do you get eight presents today, too? No. What the fuck would I get eight presents on my birthday? Hanukkah. That has nothing to do with our birthday. I don't know these rules. No, I know you're a retard. That's what you are. You just make shit up, don't you? You just make shit up to to, 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 (laughs) to fill in the holes of everything you don't know. (laughs) Sometimes, yeah. God damn, I hate you. It's Adam's birthday? Yes, it is yeah. my birthday. It's also Kenza's happy, birthday. Thank you, happy, Bailey K. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that. Kenzo, yeah, apparently it's Kenzo's birthday too, which I find ironic because Kenzo's been out to ruin my Dr. Crusher fantasies for a month now. It's not um, Kenzo's birthday anymore, so you don't have to feel bad about that. Oh, yeah, because it's uh right. it's it's not the January 9th or anyway. But anyway, the happy birthday to Kenzo, my 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 birthday brother. Uh but yeah, so what what are you doing? Oh <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it is my birthday. Uh you know that you're older. And uh, we'll leave it at that. But thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I do. Happy birthday, Adam. Thank you. Thank you, Cloud. I know that you're older and I know that you're closer to death. But speaking of close (laughs) to death, Cloud, how are you doing? I'm all right. That was a bad bad segue. (laughs) Even I have to admit that one was rough. No, I know it wasn't bad. It was mean. It it was mean is what it was. It wasn't bad. It was mean. It was actually a good good one, but it was mean. You're heartless. (laughs) Yeah. Should uh, man, if Cloud was here when I, the Sally Palmer joke was going on, it would have been better for Cloud. But uh, okay, did you catch any shinies, Cloud? No. Inform I didn't. us on your shinies. I got no shinies. You got no shinies. Well, actually, I mean, in the... ain't no <laughs> shinies when she's gone. In Pokemon Home, I traded one of my Zamazentas that I got from Pokemon Go for a shiny. Um, was it Iron Moth? I, wait, they have this Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon Go right now? No, in Pokemon Home. Did you not hear oh, what I oh. just said? I said what the hell's Pokemon Home? It, it's like uh, a storage thing, and you yeah, get to it's... trade and all that. Oh, so, so it's not the... like it's not like their own version of Siri and the Google Home thing? No, no. Essentially, you know how in Pokemon you have the PC system? Well, starting in the DS era, they started implementing a system called the Pokemon Bank, which transferred over into the 3DS, and then they wanted to implement, like, Pokemon Go, you can transfer Pokemon into and everything, so they made an app called Pokemon Home, which once a year, you can play pay annually or monthly, and you just keep all your Pokemon. I so, mean, 15 like you bucks for the year is not that bad. Because yeah. it's just ones and zeros, so you're, you're not really keeping anything except for an archive. Shut up, Static. Quit using logic. Spreadsheets are free, dude. I know. There's also this thing called PK Hex where you can just make your Pokemon. So there's that. Oh, um, yeah. But, there's that. Which I, I had to do on my Pokemon uh, Heart Gold. You guys Silver live in a strange world that scares the shit out of me. <laughs> what they need, what they need to come out with, is something that will birth a Pokemon when you catch it. 
like pop oh, it out what? of a 3D printer or something. I like this idea. That'd be kind of cool. Listen, we all know Pokemon is one of the weirdest realities that exist, okay? For crying out loud, when you turn 10, you get a weapon of mass destruction and get sent on your own way. Okay, you get sent out into the world and it's like, go on, have have fun, fall off a cliff for all we care. Have fun with your like world destructing de device. Go go beat up other monsters. They monetize dog fights. Let let's be real. It's it's yeah, legal to yeah. have dog fights there. Michael Vick, the video game. <laughs> yes, but uh, let's say hello to the chat real quick because we got Professor Savage Dad. We got Legatus Legionus mod extraordinaire. I, I, I'd argue he's up there with Eric K on how good of a mod he is. We got Seal Hunter. And uh, by the way, Seal Hunter did give a, one, a 99 cent super sticker, which was popcorn. And then did a 499 super chat for uh says uh all fox all fox's x-men movies are 10 out of 10 except dark phoenix also dermy wormy is gay <laughs> i want i want to agree with you because i love the fox x-men universe but i have to disagree with you because things like uh, x-men origins wolverine x-men wolverine and uh well the the third one exists but let's just be fair they're not good movies they're better than what we're getting now but Compared to uh, back then, they aren't good. But uh, we also have JB in chat. How you doing, JB? Uh, who else do we have? I got Professor Savage Dad scrolling down because you guys are having fun conversations. That's what I love to see. Iron Oxide was in chat. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, we got Bad Take Bojan, Mama Tina Bojan. Oh, God damn it. She was here when we were talking about masturbating, wasn't she? <laughs> oh, fuck. You were talking about well, I guess and, I would. and just when we thought Tina's, you know, shame of you couldn't get deeper. <laughs> Listen, she just owned me because I didn't put a uh, cle not credence Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac and Goat. I was okay with that. Listen, doors and who still don't belong to Goat? Oh, you're shit, wrong. I, to, I yeah, forgot to do that. Dips, Dermy. Whatever. Yeah. I I fucked up, but uh, we Jimmy got, didn't may belong to Goat. Huh? I said Jimmy didn't belong in GOAT. Jimmy Hendrix. Well, I would move down Jimmy Hendrix, who, and the doors, okay? That's the that's the truth. But uh, we also have Melee K here in chat. How you doing, Melee K? Culture Pop with BHP. How you doing, <laughs> bud? I dug I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> Uh, what are you laughing at? Uh, oh, wait, by the way, we have Jason Fox from 540 Studios coming in with a one month membership saying, Hail, how you doing? And uh, I think we're all caught up. Oh, we do have this guy, wait, Cloud. He took the time away from uh, j jerking off to be here. Nice. I said B hop, didn't I? I don't know what I said. Never mind. We all took time away from jerking off to be here. Let's be honest. That's true. Oh, and by the way, I do have Spartacus coming in in chat. I think this is one of his first times being here in the chat itself. But, uh, okay, uh, we're getting to our first topic, actually. And the window here. Oh, wait, no, I can't do it through window. I'm going to have to do it through another system, entire screen, because there will be a video. How, How am I still you? eating? Or <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm on partial keto right now. I'm trying to limit ha as much carbs as I take in. Meat based Oreos. That's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call two dick and semen. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was a I don't want to be here no more. That was Gross. a really bad <laughs> That was a really bad joke. Oh, second time says Sparta Chris. Well, welcome. Uh, but let's get into this. So we're continuing down the localizer anime and everything like that with AI translations and stuff like that. Cause uh, well, they just won't stop. And because of this, you know, we've had a lot of uh, expo exposures, uh, localizer. Well, I'm calling them localizers from now on localizers coming out, uh, attacking fans, attacking Japan, attacking just ar all around everybody and everything. And uh, one of the big conversations that started back up again was uh, Monica Rial and her situation because uh, Asmin Gold got involved. Asmin Gold being one of the largest Twitch streamers, even though he has his own shit that 
you know, you got to admit he has his own shit and he's not the perfect dude. But the fact that he has such a large following, he uh, ended up discovering this, put it out there. It, it gets more mainstream, more eyes get all over this. And uh, because of this, uh, Jamie Markey actually came out and did a response video due to her whole controversy. Now, uh, you, you guys want to watch this? Because she did it on TikTok and posted it everywhere. Ugh. I'm going to stop watching your videos because you did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done watching this on your damn video. Oh, well, I mean, I usually bring up my <laughs> videos for dreams, too. So uh, let, let's do this. Recently. Oh, can I turn this shit up here? Oh, I have my personal volume down. Give me a moment. Browser. It was a little quiet anyways. You're good. I have mine. <laughs> CL is begging you now. Have been criticizing me and demanding answers regarding a line I wrote in 2017 and the answer I gave to a question at a panel. A wee, 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 wee. Yeah. Yeah. Who was this, that? this is that was uh, Adam. Oh. <laughs> trust me, it, it keeps getting better. If you don't know who Asmongold is, he is a streamer with well over 2 million followers. Now, Punching down. Since Asmongold was gracious enough to respond to the criticism and the demands for answers he's been receiving regarding his involvement with soft giving and oh. their controversy. Yes, there. I mean, there, that's legitimate. Let's be fair. Asmongold has his own controversy, but uh, you're trying to one shift blame while playing the victim but uh and, but from what i understand also like he just decided to deal with them and he has nothing to do with how the money's handled yeah so it's like it, it he he doesn't he how would he have known yeah like it, has he come out and uh said anything told, about that i think he told somebody to basically fuck off but other than that i have no idea because he had no he i don't know i haven't dug deep into that controversy i just I... know it exists I know a guy who uh, used to game with him, and he one time he told me Asma Gold is an asshole. So that, he that's my he comes off like he could be an asshole. Look, I didn't know this, but I guess he tried to uh, cancel Gundam a while back. Yeah, yeah, I so, found out about that too. I mean, I don't I'm think not... he's perfect at all, but I think the uh, her this is she's using the classic what aboutism. Yeah, she's using a what aboutism to try to shift blame on this situation, which is. What what about what aboutisms are usually used for, and not what they should be used for? But uh, it it keeps getting better. It's a distraction. I thought it's only fair that I respond to his followers in kind. Ugh. Well, who gives a shit? Okay, Somebody I doubt she needs glasses. I fucking doubt it. <laughs> I I agree, but uh, that was a total <laughs> image thing to do right there. It was retarded. Pull, I'm going to pull it back a little bit because she thought it was a power move. Yeah. Makes an allegation against me. And now somehow I have to respond to it. No, I don't have to say anything. Who gives a fuck? Thank you for you, your time. You do. You give a fuck. You she do totally give gives a fuck. a fuck for even doing this. Why'd this you do this? You give a fuck. <laughs> it shows you give a fuck. You fucking liar. Yeah. Put on this giant uh, performative fucking thing, and you're like, I don't care. I'm just so tired of hearing what the fuck this mid fucking Coles worker. She's fucking not mid. <laughs> She's not <laughs> mid. She's worse than mid. Oh, it's like that um John Tron thing. I don't care. I don't care at all. I care immensely. Yeah. Mid. Well, you can. I can show you how much she cares. Is uh, this is a bounding article that uh, decided to take a bunch of her conversations from Jan uh, from uh, New Year's Eve where she blatantly cares and starts blaming like the fans being disingenuous and stuff. You know, you got this one. I honestly do think you're a good voice actor, but rewriting, writing someone else's work to fit your agenda and the way you're treating the people who ask why, why really makes you look bad as a person. Why do you rewrite your, with an agenda? Why are you forcing politics into your writing? Why do you hate men? Why are you racist? Why do you hate the work you do? Bad faith questions don't deserve my respect. If you think they do, then I don't care if you think I'm a bad person. She blatantly cares about all this because this bounding compiled basically this entire tweet thread with different people bringing it up where she also ends up saying she never wrote the art the line. Then she says she did write the line. She then changed what the line was and then got called out for that. It She cares immensely over this whole situation. Did you also see that meme that someone made that says... 
why is Jamie Markey bitch so much about you know over sexualization in anime when she voices the sluttiest characters ever? Do you know what? That's a good point. Her character, and I haven't watched uh, the Dragon Maids thing. I can never fucking say the name right. Uh, but l let's be fair. She's a big titty anime waifu that I would not kick out of bed. L l let's be perfectly <laughs> honest there. But uh, Asmongold destroys her in his response. I don't have to pay a whole be lot well, of this. Well, because the reason she does it is because it's the same reason that, like, terrorists can freaking drink alcohol and do all that stuff when they're in the trying to accomplish their goal it's like forgiven it's like oh i can play a big titty freaking anime girl if i'm trying to freaking you know sabotage the fucking shit then it's all forgiven but yeah i was about i was about to Wait. go like where are you going with terrorists with this but what you're, you're saying they're watching porn while they're like kamikaze gang shit yes <laughs> they can do anything <laughs> they, if, if it, it's it's actually part of it if you <laughs> If you you can drink, you you can have gay sex if you want, long as your goal is to commit. G, you know the word. Uh, yeah, you can you can do all that stuff because you're forgiven because you're doing it in the process of trying to was, fight for God. Essentially. Right, it has to be it has to be part of like the goal. It can't be like, well, yeah. I'm going to do this tomorrow so I can do this today. Yeah, it's it's about it's about fitting in. It's about trying to uh, make it oh. look like you're not that. So oh, you so can drink enough. alcohol and say, oh, I'm a moderate. I'm a moderate. I'm not a bad guy. Don't worry. Look, I'm drinking alcohol. I'm looking at girls' boobies. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, I don't follow those rules. Then you like get forgiven. That in the, I would like to read that in the Quran. You, you know what, Spartacris? <laughs> uh, you're right. I, I, I guess Cloud's going to be the biggest terrorist out of us all. What? That's a good point. It's Horn called something. Terrorism. I can't remember the what it's called, spoken. but essentially. <laughs> But okay, we have uh, Asmongold's response, and he he straights he straights up mercs her right away. Oh shit, I did it again. Fuck this. It's not that system. hard. She's a dumb. Yeah, bitch. I appreciate him. Uh, you know, he's, Rev's taking my side on this. I appreciate. It. I'll link you guys the video. Give it a like. This is good. Yeah, I mean, it's always funny to see somebody like that that will go on, but probably believe yeah, me, whatever you want. Oh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter how many times somebody insults me, uh, you call me a hoarder, a whiny little bitch, like anything like that. Like you can call me whatever you want. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter. Because here's the reality. Is that there's something that's worse than anything that I can say to somebody like her? Is that whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm still me and she's still her. <laughs> <laughs> that's his only response this whole section goes on for like the rest of the video and it's like you know what that's all you have to say is he's still him and she's still her yeah she might voice popular characters and stuff but <clears throat> as of right now i think she's blacklisted in the industry and asmin gold has two million plus subscribers and or followers on twitter on twitch and makes a fuck ton of money so so there's that and uh what do you guys think of his response real quick before we go into the second part of why she objectively cares? Ha ha. Ha ha. I, I don't know. It, it, <laughs> well, I was about to quickly get this as well for <laughs> Seal Hunter for 199. You can spell victim. You can't you can spell victim without Vic LOL. I think he means you can't, but you can't spell victim without Vic. True? True. I mean, he he laid out a bunch of accusations and everything. By the way, shout out to Imp Black Belt. What what the fuck's going on there? Cloud. No, it sounds like you're boomering it. No, okay, someone cloud muted. Uh, but I'm gonna take you guys over to this. So this is this is an opinion piece, okay, from a localizer. Now, to be fair, he's a video game localizer and he works for English to German subs and everything like that. But through this whole article... Wait, what did that actually, title say? What title? The, right the Deluded themselves into believing they are actual... Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're actual creators. But he says something very poignant at the end. This is why you're seeing all these uh, vocalizers and everything coming out the woodworks and freaking out, attacking fans, attacking everything, attacking every inch of this uh, anime debacle. And you come over here. However, there is an upside to all this. It is simple where to put the blame and both publisher and game developers read comments or scan the internet for feedback 
localization departments and studios collect feedback and any negative feedback will jeopardize their funding or outright existence. So the simple fact that they now have freaking Asmund Gold getting over 2 million people to talk about this, the simple fact that this is an issue that is being like pounded on over and over and over again, you're getting more eyes on this, you're getting more people talking about this, this is becoming a trending topic over and over and over again. And the fact that you have uh, Japanese creators coming out, this is actually uh, somebody that I guess worked with the Dragon Maid's creator saying, Mr. Bu I'm going to butcher this, Fukuta was surprised at how bad the English translation of Mr. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid was. And I laughed a little when he started criticizing some of the English translations quite proactively, LOL. Well, even I was shocked when I found out that there was an ideological <laughs> twist that was completely absent from the original work you have this person uh coming out saying similar thing this this is a source of great controversy in the united states japanese works are intentionally mis mistranslated by studios such as funimation in order to insert their tr uh translators political messages it's another thing for dubbed anime to do this but now subtitled anime are also intentionally mistranslated there is a sense of distrust in the U in the USA. The more you get things like this, the more you're getting things like all this from that freaking bounding thread that they put out that you can just go through and see example after example after example of issues going on in the entire industry, the more you're going to get these because the anime developers are just going to say, fuck it. We're not dealing with you guys anymore. We're going to start doing AI. We're going to start doing our own translations. We're going to send them over there and you're going to have to speak it word for word in, in regards to the dubbing because we don't trust you anymore. This is why I told you earlier when we were talking about this. This is why we trust fan servers. Mm -hmm. Fan servers get it right and they do it better than the professionals because there's passion, there's caring, and also the visual quality is even better than the professional production companies that the, the localizers do. So, you know, mm -hmm. there are other options. Are they completely, I don't know, we'll just say legano, illegano? No, not, it depends on your view of that. But I, I'm not going to give these people my time or my money. Because, first of all, as I've said repeatedly in the past, I don't buy a franchise until I know how it ends. So I'm going to watch it however, however I want it. And if it's good, then you're going to get my money. But at the same time, I, I'm not here to be lecture to and watch you butcher something. I mean, we brought it up last week when we talked about this. Uh, I know this is 20 years ago, but still, ghost stories. Yeah. That, that, that dub was abominable because it was literally cramming in lines as quickly as they could, packed with agenda, even when there was no room for that. But as long as the lips were moving, they shoved, in, shoved stuff in there. Or when there was no visual shot of the mouth, they would add an extra line, ideologically driven. So this is – I cry no tears. For anybody here, if the mothership destroys it all, good. Hope the mothership nukes them from orbit and does whatever the fuck they want. Like I said, it's it's all this is is people coping because they got caught with their hand in the cookie dryer. Don't it, it's they were pulling this shit. They finally got called out and finally got con. Steph saying, you know what, we we can't can't ding you for holding us accountable for what we were doing. We got away with it for a long time, but obviously, you know, we'd made the choice to do it. Nope. Now they're like, Oh, this is, this is unfair. You can't do this. Well, you, you, you knew what was going to happen. You knew eventually people were going to catch on to your bullshit. I don't cry know. now. Take responsibility. Freaking you goddamn witch, you know, like I just, I also saw a thing where someone at a convention was asking Eric Stewart, the voice of Brock and said Okaiba, you know, like why uh, four kids would censor so much. And he basically said it wasn't really four kids decision. It was the FCC that forced them to censor all of that. So someone shared that and said, at least four kids has an excuse. What's the localizer's excuse? Yeah. And those, those four kids dubs before the, the censored versions whether it was one piece, well, the one piece is notoriously bad, but the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh ones, you can at least get the uncensored stuff nowadays, and it's a little Some, the, a good chunk of it. Yeah. Well, and it's just, original. You have season, to get the fan. 
you can get the you can get the unedited stuff where they still have uh, the gun in season one that you can mm-hmm. find. I've seen it with that. So. Well, there's uh, later seasons of like five Ds that you can only you have to find fan subs of because they. Oh, never I, I, I yeah, it. I only watched. I had to finish five Ds on uh, on fan sub when I was watching it. Yeah, because they just stopped. And I mean, we also have entire lines in Pokemon, for example, of Jelly Donut. I love Jelly Donuts <laughs> when he's holding up a rice ball. I, I felt lied to half my life. That's not a jelly donut. It's a rice ball. Uh, you, you, some of those four kids' uh, translations and censors were funny. Now you look back at them like, I kind of wish I saw Dark Magician Girl's cleavage. I kind of wish I saw some of those more yeah, they're, they're risque looking ways, monsters. There are plenty of ways well, to see Dark, Dark Magician <laughs> Girl's cleavage, dude. Why do you oh, think I, I brought many of the Japanese cards? I mean, I mean, there's some nice cards over there. Trust. Oh, God. Harpy Lady is very fine. And as you saw, originally the first set of Blue Eyes White, Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, they had Harpy Lady like the Japanese version, and then they censored it. Don't remind me. But uh, real quick, uh, J.S. Pena asked an interesting question for uh, those of us that like Doctor Who. Even though it's dead, who was our favorite enemies or monster? I don't know if I'm qualified to really answer that because mine's the cheesy answer. I just I always enjoyed the Daleks when they were on, just because it shit got real when they were involved. And I, I know it's a pretty surface level answer; it's not very deep, but that that's what I that's what I say. <laughs> that one's really tough. I'm yeah, uh, I'm I'm the silence. I think I'm gonna go with the silence. Silence is good. I think I'm gonna go with the weeping angels. Yeah, I find their con- even though they keep changing up their lore, their concept is still so interesting it, and kind of terrifying. Weeping angels are close to, and then third would be Cybermen. Ooh, and that's kind of what I was thinking, but uh, it would be weeping angels, Dalek, Cybermen. They're all they're are, they're all creepy at their in their own like they're they're all so good. Yes. Oh Davros. Oh, I can name st- I, I I missed Good Who, but also right now I'm watching Stargate because of Samuel and I'm addicted <laughs> and fuck him. By the way, hi Samuel. Hi, Dermy. Yeah, fuck you. F- fuck you. <laughs> right in the fuck you right in your plump little asshole. God damn. Damn it! I wow. feel right now. <laughs> Good <Yes>. lord! <laughs> Who are you talking good. to? What's the, Samuel? What's <laughs> no, no, no. He's Why? thinking what's of Samuel. Do? No, no. He's not thinking of Samuel. He's thinking of Sam. That's what he's thinking of. <laughs> I am pissed because I like it so much, and I can't stop thinking about it or wanting to watch it. It's, oh, Stargate! I was all why are you awesome. fucking just all of a sudden start threatening Sam's <laughs> ass for no reason? <laughs> no, I gave my reason. It's because of fucking Stargate. Because he knew I was going to like it. He knew I was going to enjoy it. And he's like, you're going to have to watch it. I, I told you you have to watch it. You have to watch it. And it's like, fine. I finally start watching it after last week's uh freaking to- mayhem. And it's like, motherfucker. I fucking hate you so fucking much. God. I just got done with uh the blending between Sam's mom and not Sam's, Sam's, mom, dad. Sam's dad. Fucking retard. Shut up. Sam's dad and uh, Selmac. 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 I cannot remember the names of the good go- Guo Tokra. The Tokra. I Tokra. just told you this 45 minutes ago. I know you did, but even when I'm watching it, it's like, I don't know if I can pr- remember these names. There's so many different words that I don't know that it's going to take me some time to get used to. <laughs> like, this is my, this is probably my third iteration of the Tokra, essentially, because I saw them in the beginning. Then they're gone for a while, and then they show up, and it's like, oh, those are the good gold. Okay. Now, now I remember. I, I'm addicted. I'm not going to be able to say it right. I can barely say my own name right. Well, well they say you could say gould or guo gould because they say gould all the time in the show. They say they say gould, but it's guo. It's guo. Guo. Goa gould. Yes. Yes. And I hate you. But anyways, how are you doing, Samuel? How, how are you in One Piece? I just got out of Navarone. Um so we're we're uh 
Right. Yeah. The last episode I watched, uh, the uh, the balloon octopus ran out of air and they let it go. Oh, okay. okay yeah. So you're uh, that was some filler. So now you're on your way to water seven. Yeah. So I I I, I do have a couple of issues with this show, man. Um, overall, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would, as you said I would. But uh, but there are a couple of things that have been driving me fucking nuts. Some stuff. Water Seven is where stuff kind of fully it has one shape. of the. It has the. I, I listen. It has the upgraded help me. Upgraded help me. <laughs> yeah. No, I just like after uh, after Alabasta and then um, Skypea, like they they ended the same way. They had had all of these epic stakes and there were sacrifices made and you know people getting their wasted left and fucking right and then at the end everybody's miraculously fine including the enemy yeah just that well, well, so listen, fucking that, that's annoying. oda oda has said he doesn't he doesn't like to kill people he has made this statement a lot that's that's an oda thing he doesn't necessarily kill but listen, there are going to be deaths going forward people are gonna yeah, die. yeah i'm just saying after after what fucking uh sky breeder ohm did to chopper chopper should not be breathing all right yeah, there's a lot of characters that should not be breathing. Drew. You know, and and what the fuck is with Conan's dad <laughs> showing up out of nowhere for no reason? <laughs> I'm only on like episode up. 100. Sorry, sorry, I'll shut up. I'm now. not gonna spoil it for you, but there's some serious moments coming up. Like Water Seven is fucking phenomenal. Well, it, Water Seven in, so, into, into into any lobby. It's it's that's yeah. the whole yeah. Thing there, I, there's been some really good characters. I I'm I'm kind of. There's on some of the characters I'm a little wishy washy on about how I feel about them. I do agree with you now, though, that anime Luffy is much better than live action Luffy. Mm -hmm. Um, but anime Nami is not. Well, they changed her in the live action a little bit. Yeah. Anime Nami is yeah. she's a bitch, she's yeah, on wheels, and she's a greedy <laughs> I don't like her in the anime. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, listen, that's that's why Robin is greater than uh robin is always Nami. more lovable she's a real woman and my yes. god when you get to uh not any impel slobby. down uh any no slobby. after any after any slobby uh the dark place yeah i, I will also mention that have uh, a the halfway graveyard skypea they oh, start showing a lot of gratuitous tit and ass shots for nami hey for yeah. like no uh, reason oh like, uh, it gets even better isn't after she like 16 no she's 18 sam Samuel, it gets so much better after the uh, time skip. And by the way, uh, Robin, when you get to Thriller Bark, uh, that's my perfect outfit right there. No, post time skip, Robin is greater. Post guy time skip, Robin is only greater because she has bigger tits. But I prefer they all have bigger tits. <laughs> I know, but I prefer fucking Thriller Bark, Robin. Dude, you haven't seen her in her Egghead Island outfit, dude. I have seen her in uh. <laughs> The Zed movie outfit and dude, dude, they they just animated the Egghead Island outfit movie up for that. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. Robin, Robin's ride or die. Why, but, waifu time is over though. We have to, we have to move yes, on. we we need to move on because you know devils over here like shut the fuck up. Clouds like <laughs> shut the fuck up. Statics like I'm only on episode like a hundred. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. I didn't I, uh, spoil one goddamn thing. I didn't spoil. Hey, look, my apologies. I, I assumed theory, everybody's seen I, more I of this than me. So. Yeah, I have. I'm. I'm not. I have no problem. I was just. The, I was just watching uh, clips because uh, in Ecuador the shit has hit the fans. So I'm just. <laughs> that's mm. what I was well, I haven't seen that, up on that. But what? What I have seen, and this is gonna be a little side side note thing. What the fuck did you just do? Fuck you, screens. Oh, also fuck who's up. I hope he dies. Oh god. <laughs> fuck off, you stupid. Uh, oh, bitch. oh, listen, you're you're gonna you're gonna let's just say in water seven, you're gonna be so frustrated with him in water seven. You're gonna, gonna be gonna, so you're gonna get frustrated, but you kind of understand him. No, I understood him. I thought he was he made sense, but he was still a jackass. Yeah. He, but he also comes together towards the end of that. I'm not shutting up, shutting up. Um, okay. So Rachel Zegler put this tweet out, and I just want to make fun of it because all I don't know why I didn't notice it earlier, but even uh, Wookie Be Bad, who was in chat earlier, he called it a golden bad dragon, and now I can't <laughs> unsee it. <laughs> I can't unsee this just being a massive um, dildo. Well, I forget who it was, but so someone in the Legion uh, photoshopped a dildo in their hands. 
Uh, somebody decided to Photoshop me in her hands, and I think that was Tris. <laughs> so, um, I think it was this picture that they Photoshopped me in her hands with. Then, uh, why this, does it look she, like shit? Like, uh, the statue <laughs> looks like paper mache or something. Like, it does look hey, like crap. He, well, you, you know what, static though, a- anything can be a dildo if you're brave enough. True. Yeah. True. And also, I'm pretty sure she she probably needs to put some more lube on it. That might make it look a whole lot better. But after that whole dick thing, I'm coming. I now can't unsee it in regards to anybody holding it. <laughs> the worst statue. That ever. looks so much like a shake weight right there. <laughs> <laughs> Cup in the balls. Even that. <laughs> oh yeah, she's ready. Ugh. I can't unsee it. I She's can't. Like, I'm taking this baby home. It looks, it looks little in Lizzo's hand there. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to laugh because I, all I see is the dick. That's all was I that see. Lizzo? All, all you ever see is dick. No, I don't know. No, I, don't I don't, know who that, that was. I thought that was that big ass comedian. I don't, I don't know. Fucking idea. Be, all uh, I know is a fat black chick. Racist. That could be yeah, just about it. That's not just racist. That's like. Legitimately, I don't know who the fuck. That I don't know. Who that That's is. Young Medea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all all I know, is she's she's fat, she's black. That's all I know. It's Tyler Perry in a dress twenty man. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> in college, he was cross dressing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, let, let's get into the second topic because, well. Fuck Doctor Who and fuck these numbers because bullshit are they accurate. So, real quick, when it comes to the Christmas special, it is being panned by audiences across the board. Usually we don't use Rotten Tomatoes as an actual meter, but this is the only thing you can try to get an understanding of where the audiences are in regards to Doctor Who. Like, there's no IG, like uh, IMDb, I believe, for Doctor Who itself. And this is the Christmas special, and it's outright a 33% being rated by audiences. This is an episode that has motherfucker low. God damn it, Park Place. That is legitimately, I know they say it's the second worst outing of a doctor ever, ever and stuff, but it is the worst outing of a Christmas special ever. And they show up some of the numbers here, I believe, they, in this article. Maybe they don't hear. It is the worst outing of a doc, Doctor Who Christmas special ever. They, and yeah. You have numbers here that they uh, decided to come out last week and say that the Christmas special was streamed 10 million times on the iPlayer. Oh, yeah. What, shit. We, know what, we know what a view counts for that. You can watch it for five seconds. It counts as a view. Oh, oh but over. Adam, it gets less. better. Adam, it gets better. What they were actually tracking is the entirety of the new Who era from 2005 to the Christmas special was played a grand total of 10 million times over a span of two weeks. And in that span of two weeks, only 1.79 million streams of the uh, uh, actual Christmas special happened. Excuse me. Why do they say festive period? That's retarded. I don't know. But then they say a fortnight. That's like, they, that's like happy Christmas. holidays. It's they don't want to say Christmas, essentially. Christmas. Yeah. But so you already see the BBC lying here because this was the BBC that put this out. 10 million views trying to make you think that it did good when well, in reality it was Horrific. All you have to do is listen to that 10 million over a two week period. That's pathetic. That's, that's sad. What, that's pathetic, but that was also the entirety of New Who. Oh, that's even worse. Then you know, yeah, you, you had you had them calling us uh racist and homophobic for panning the episode. Also uh demean declaring that the hashtag RIP RIP Doctor Who is a racist homophobic dog whistle. So when the Freaking oh, numbers finally come out. I call bullshit after two weeks. First off, to clarify to some of you guys that might have not seen my video today, the number that came out first was the plus four screens number. It wasn't even a true consolidated number. I woke up this morning at eight just to be on the safe side in case I did have to go to work. The no- the consolidated number still wasn't out. It was between eight o'clock central time to about two o'clock, uh, one o'clock noon or one o'clock central time when those numbers finally came out the actual consolidated numbers and you're going to sit here and tell me that they truly are 7.26 million bull fucking shit that is a joke across the board that we're going to legitimately take this number and even when you compare it to like the past numbers 
Uh, the best one to compare it to, honestly, ends up being the special prior to it. That's sending out 4.6. So then you get 0.1 better for your Christmas special, but somehow you got more consolidated views. Somehow you you jumped up that much. But that's, that's horse shit. But then even if you take this number, it's still not good. Because uh, you come over here to most watched uh, Doctor Who Christmas specials ever. And like I like to always point out, even though they hate it when I point this out, an episode from the 60s still did better. That, uh, to clarify, I got told this today, was only viewed once. Actually is a lost episode that got re, I think, fully destroyed. I think it either got burned up or was actually taped over and has never been seen again. It's still got 7.9 in consolidated viewership. That's funny. And anybody have anything to say before I continue on? No. I'm good. No. So are you saying that they counted all the views up until the moment that they posted the number? I can't outright say that, but you're gonna sit here and tell me that they dropped the four the plus four screen, which is essentially on multiple screens first yesterday. And then today they drop the actual consolidated viewership. That's horse shit. And then on a downtrend to have a giant jump. Yeah. And you can see the downtrend just in the viewership alone. It does not add up that you would end up having this. Like even the second special, Wild Blue Yonder, which got viewed more times overnight, doesn't have this consolidated number. Oh, that it's math like- doesn't add up. They had to wait for the 3 a.m. views to come in. <laughs> yeah. No, I I don't deny it because, again, this the consolidated viewership, the plus seven right here because you can't see my, uh, my actual mouse, that took 15 days to get. Not, that, that was over two weeks to get us this number. That No, that, that's not realistic. But, you know, you're seeing a bunch of people go around saying this is a success, this is a success, this is a success. Uh, ignoring what you're actually seeing. Well, here's Jodie Whittaker's first season if it fucking loads. Uh, this is the her first outing of a doctor. That's 8.2 million overnight, 10.5 million in consolidated viewership. Want, want. And then you take a look across the board of her first season, uh, more overnight viewership for each episode. Obviously, the numbers start dipping down, but uh, comparatively, the consolidated viewership yeah, yeah, you're in Jodie Whittaker times. And then you take a look at uh, Jodie Whittaker's second season. This is what you're more looking at with your overnights and consolidated. It's across the board. This is what you're getting, really, is the second season of Jodie Whittaker numbers. You're not getting even the first season. So you're failing left, right, and center. And then we'll hop back over to the uh, first outing of a doctor. I love to point out the best episode to compare this to is always going to be the Christmas Invasion. Because this is the first going of David Tennant, who Adam keeps pointing out to me, uh, doesn't even show up until the very end. It's a Christmas special, and it's still got 9.84 million. But then, of course, I have some Stan on Twitter go uh, go like, well, viewership in the 2000s is a lot different than compared to now. Uh, not a whole lot of people are watching TV or terrestrial television. Then why the hell did House of the Dragon do- get so, so, so many good views? I know that's more of an American-based show, but still, if that logic proceeds, why did House of the Dragon get very good views across the board? Why did uh, freaking Last of Us get good views? What, what, what's going on there? I mean, there's so much streaming. Shouldn't they be seeing uh, shitty views by comparison? No, it's well, because the that's... show's dead. I, that's that's true, but I don't think that it's solely because the show is dead. It's also like you're getting more and more people over in the UK who are not willing to pay for a BBC license. Mm-hmm. So people aren't watching TV at all. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, and so and that's definitely cutting into those numbers. And let's let's not forget the fact that all of the UK combined has a lower population than our East Coast. Yeah, they only have 70 million people. Yeah. Show still can't hit the Samba top ten. Still, I actually haven't even checked out the Samba Top 10 for uh, the Christmas week as of yet, but if it's still not on there, I had somebody come into my comment section and leave the weirdest comment 
that made no sense because there was no evidence to back it up. He was saying, uh, it got viewed 14 million times on Disney Plus and all this stuff. And it's like, where are you getting these numbers? I haven't seen a single thing. And so I decided to look it up and there was no proof of it. None. I don't know if Disney's ever released numbers except for when things were better than expected. Yeah, when things are better than expected or when they have to try to spin it and everything like that. But that's I think we got numbers time. for like Mandalorian season one, and that's like one of a very few things. Mandalorian season one, I think Mandalorian season two. Well, it's all Samba numbers. In well, no, I mean, like, else. I think Disney did boast about some of these numbers, and I think they did Obi Wan as well. But I mm -hmm. don't remember the rest because I know they've come out and actually talked about a few of them. But then, uh, Adam, you pointed out uh, earlier, and I keep forgetting what month it is, but it, the next season doesn't come May. out until May. May. Doesn't come out till May, so you already have, you know, dwindling viewership. Fuckery going on with the new consolidator viewership. And then on top of that, they're already promising you to get more woke. Uh, this is actually the research, not the one I wanted to pull up, but uh, yes, they are promising to get more woke. Um, you have the companion saying that they're going to do more controversies to try to attract the Gen Z audience. You think Gen Z is watching TV? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have the, the shitty Gatwa outright say very leftist <clears throat> liberal bubble for one episode and another episode based on his race. And then uh, I can't pull up the actual uh, trailer. The first trailer has a trans person in Victorian London. It's too overt not to be going on there. So you, you think this is going to be a win? And then to Static's point, fucking Gen Z's not going to be watching this shit. They won't even stream it. They're going to no. Be... They 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 don't have the patience to get through a thirty second TikTok. Man, they ain't going to sit down for an hour yeah. long show. Yeah, yeah. How how old is this character supposed to be that this woman's playing? Twenty nine nineteen. 19. She looks like she's mid thirties in these photos. Well, these aren't good photos. She is like everything not, I see her in. She looks much older than I think she's supposed to be. That one's better, but she's not. These aren't great photos of her. There's some really good photos of her that I should probably go look up. But uh, like she is, she's hot. I'm not gonna lie. She she's hot. No, they they got that one right. They actually put somebody attractive on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's gonna be the gay best friend to Shitty Gatla, but. You think any of these no, viewers she's, are... that she's the fig hig? <laughs> hig, hig? Here, here. Ooh, I got ooh, it. Some... <laughs> I just typed in Millie Gibson. I typed in Millie Gibson on Google. Trust me, there's some damn good pictures of her. Oh, oh yeah. hey, all right, all right. I I'm down for this zoomer. I, I I'm down with her. You're I, also I like a this. lot closer to her age than I am. So, <laughs> listen, Raven the Cradle isn't that bad of a deal, especially when they're. You just say Raven the Cradle. No, I said he Raven. Doesn't know what he's, he doesn't I'm know what he's. Pretty sure. About. I'm pretty sure he said. I Raven. said Raven. I, I You're said going Raven in the Cradle. <laughs> I meant robbing, but I said are you, raving. Are you, are you feeding newborn sex to see or something? <laughs> <laughs> he is the newborn that was fed ecstasy. <laughs> oh, take this I pill see. and nappy nap time, little jerk. Yeah, no wonder all of Gen Z is epileptic. Hello, the Clue <laughs> Channel. Hey, What's up, buddy? Clue. What's up? I'm, I'm, re I'm retarded. I'm retarded is what it boils Listen, down I, to. I, I, I would do interesting things to Millie Gibson, but she's a terrible actress and she's a moron. So I would agree with that. She's not a great actress, but she hasn't had anything to do really. Like, this is like her first big role, and she plays it like she should be a side character she's not a main character well she has no not... character she's yeah. got nothing i mean you go back and look at uh matt smith uh amy pond got immediate character development in 11th hour immediate oh yeah i'm remembering yeah. that kiss a graham outfit well i'm remembering a lot more than that but uh <laughs> the, uh, listen uh she that was an actual character an actual companion mm -hmm. ruby sunday sang for us on a pirate on, on a goblin flying ship 
Oh God! And then she, uh, then she had a, 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 a whispering chat fight with Shudigawa, as though they were caught children hold, with their hands in the cookie jar, even though they weren't in trouble in that moment. The baby was fine. So it's she unfortunately has been put in a position where we're going to criticize her not because of who she is but for her character Mm -hmm. and while we as normal people can differentiate between reality and fiction where we can say that just for another example ray palpatine is a piece of shit we're not necessarily talking about daisy ridley we're talking about ray palpatine yeah, we could say <laughs> Sunday is a piece of shit, or maybe not a piece of shit, but a boring, uh, very thinly developed character. We're not talking about Millie Gibson, but they're not going to see it that way. And no, that's one of the angles. That of it, that's one of the angles they are coming at us with. Oh, you're misogynist. You just hate this or that. You hate Shooty Gatwa because he's, he's gay. No, I don't hate Shooty Gatwa because he's gay. I hate him because the character he's playing in the show shouldn't be gay. Mm-hmm. That's what I hate. <laughs> it's because they can't tell the difference between reality and illusion because they they live in disillusion. Well, they've forgotten what an actor is. Okay, so an actor, as you all know, is someone who gets paid to pretend to be something they're not. Period. That's why yes. uh, um, Ian McKellen. Uh, you know, like, you, did you guys ever see mm-hmm. Apt Pupil? No. Oh, God, I think I did, but it was a long time ago. You should. Brad Renfro's in it. It was before he kicked. Uh, but uh, he plays a um, an old man that a boy in his neighborhood suspects of being a Nazi war criminal on the run. Very, very tense movie. Ian McKellen is about as fucking far from a Nazi war criminal as it gets. Oh, I've seen clips of that movie. I've never actually seen the movie. It's good. I think, but, you uh, know, like, the, like that's my point, ahead. though, is like, like, like they're 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 actors. They're they're playing a character. The character is not necessarily who they are. Mm-hmm. You know, like the, there there are obviously exceptions. Sometimes people get typecast. Sometimes Ryan Reynolds plays Deadpool. You know, but it, it just, you know, like it, he should be able to play something that does not fall into necessarily the same demographics that he actually falls into. And that, that's been a problem, not just with younger people and younger generations, but with younger actors as well, as they're just like, oh, well, you know, you, I can only play, you know, like uh, like somebody in a wheelchair if I break my fucking legs. I mean, no, that's not true. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, yeah. it's fake. It's all it's all it's all make believe. You lie yeah. for a living people. When you look at the quality of actors, you can't think of any that are, you know, the past 20 years that they've just come into the business that you would put in like a good quality like every good actor mm-hmm. i can think of are the ones that are like you know at the end of their career you know the, the tommy lee jones the uh uh harrison fords the the those kind of actors the ones that you really freaking remember all these new actors suck ass they're not well, they're, there's, they, some, there's no quality left in hollywood there's some good actors that are at least in like the middle of their career like uh chris pratt well, sure and I was going to say, oh, name one under 30. <laughs> under 30? Is Chris Pratt under 30? No. no. I like Chris Pratt, but he's nowhere near Robert Duvall. And, and, well, I you know. know. Come on. No, they're still good he, actors, but they're nowhere near that level. I would say they're... You, you have your Chris, yeah. Chris Hemsworth and uh, Henry Cavill, but... Again, decent actors not on that same level and i think some of that does have to do with age and experience like the older these guys get the more they do this stuff the better at it they get so you've got guys like robert duvall or ian mckellen who have been doing this for you know 60 plus years and they have far more experience they understand what it is that they're doing far more than than somebody who's just coming out of film school um you know, and and so I, I think there probably is something to be said for that as well. But it's almost like younger generations of actors and and uh, and filmmakers don't actually care about their their their, their craft, their jobs. Yeah, you yeah. know, uh, well, like they don't have the passion for it that drives them to be great. Well, I think some actors uh, never properly. They're just thrown in there because they don't because they check a box, and then other actors who 
yeah, we're saying they're decent because we don't really see them in anything because they're not allowed to be in anything. Again, like Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, for example, he's a decent actor right now, but that's because we're not allowed to see him in literally anything. They don't because really you can't him. have white dudes. Mm-hmm. Henry yes, Cavill Jeremy. should be a star. Henry Cavill should be the biggest thing in Hollywood right now. Yes. But, yes, Jeremy, we understand they all can be rich or Ziegler. I, I, think, know, they, uh, I think that Henry Cavill is an okay actor who is a damn good human being, and he he's uh, I don't I don't know that if I want to see him in everything. I don't yeah. want to see him in everything, but I want. To I don't see disagree him in with that. Stuff. But like, he's got he's got everything that everyone else is missing. Here's the thing: mm-hmm. Henry Cavill should have had a franchise of his own, an original character that he should have been pushing for the past decade and have four or five movies under his belt and be and be something iconic. But he mm-hmm. doesn't because he's made a couple of bad decisions in good faith that the company. I mean, he sh- he should be. Geralt, he should have been Geralt for the for a decade, but but Netflix fucked him over, mm-hmm. and that's unfortunate. So he should have real... been Superman for he, well, he was Superman for a decade. They just didn't give him anything to do. Well, because they... Zack Snyder and everybody else involved couldn't write a good movie to save their goddamn lives about Superman. He was an alien posing as Superman for a good decade. I, mean, I, I can't call him you, Superman. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, yeah. I, again, I don't want to see him in everything, but he he had opportunities to to lock down some iconic stuff some original like being Geralt of Rivia the only Geralt of Rivia but circumstances were either out of control and he he just got and he got screwed over and now with 40k we're going to see where he has a lot of control over it if he can now grab hold of something and truly make it his own and something to really remember by that that doesn't fall apart unfortunately under his tenure yeah he's He's gonna be in that Argyle movie, right? Yeah. Not, have you seen yeah, that? Yes, have you guys seen yes, that? Yes, but not no. I mean, it's yeah. He, he's not. He's he plays the right plays the the thing of the character. character. But, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that oh, movie that. looks great, but then once oh, I yeah. saw that the main character was a forty year old wino cat mom who also is a writer, I, I, like, I, I had was enough like to get Jessica Chastain. I've had enough of her. I'm, I. I'm I got nervous, but see, it feels kind of like possible another self-insert type thing. Like, I mean, granted, I, it's an original IP, I, but it's an original IP, and it's made by the same people that did Kingsman. Uh, who's uh-huh. the guy who plays the main guy? The one who plays in uh, Green Sam Mile? Rockwell. Yeah, he he's great. He's a great actor. Yeah, he, I like Sam I'll Rockwell, give it to yeah. him. So hopefully, he can make it worthwhile. I've seen the trailer, and I thought the trailer looked good. Uh, we'll see. But it's about- an interesting concept. I, I thought the chick playing the writer was Bryce Dallas Howard. No, yeah, that's what I Chastin. thought it was. I'm pretty sure it's Jessica Chastain. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's Bryce okay. Dallas Howard. Well, Look it see. up. I thought it was Jessica Chastain doing it. I, I'm looking Chastain. it up. Chastain or whatever. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Chastain. Fuck their names. Uh, Chastain. It is Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, it is Bryce. Yeah. Da- well, they all, they all look alike. This what, oh, what gingers? <laughs> did she, did she, uh, did she get in shape for this? She must have. Uh, she still Good. looks a little plumpy, not like really bad, but I'm going late. off the commercial that I saw. It, she's not going to be somebody I want to sleep with. You mean Tell she doesn't have much? Well, that just too. About it. Every time you look at her, you'll see Ron Howard's gap tooth grin. <laughs> Like, <laughs> there's part of that movie that seems. I mean, it could be his brothers. <laughs> there's, a, oh. there's a lot of that movie that, like, I want to go see. Like, what what are you guys doing here? But I think I'm gonna wait for streaming. I don't know if I want to go to the movies to go see that. Like, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I'm gonna need somebody to do a review before I I decide ultimately. But uh. Here, here's something that I wanted to pull up last week. If I can fucking find it, God damn you, Streamyards! Why do I have to do it this way, you fucking cocksuckers? I wanted to pull it up on Friday, but I didn't have time. Um, I saw this on freaking Drama Alert, and I laughed my ass off. So, oh shut up. On the left. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Does she squirt or cream? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. 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 I'm not repeating that. I see it. I can try. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> just his reaction. What a, what a little bitch, dude! I would ask her. I'd straight up just say it. I would too, but I love his. I love how his. You watch as everything just like hits him. Are they a couple or siblings? Because they I look like siblings. I, if they're siblings, I okay, no then idea. I wouldn't ask. Yeah, but if, if siblings, it was like it was just a friend. That. Fuck that. yeah, or or if it was a girlfriend, especially, I would be like the latter wink. <laughs> you know, right, like, like <laughs> I just. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. I just saw this clip and I immediately broke down laughing because his, his eyes get so big. Like somebody actually just w- welcome that. to the internet. <laughs> I love it. Well, how's it end? Uh, it, ju- it just ends. They don't. Oh. I want to find this. I need to find this whole stream because I want to watch. Like, what's the context? I need to know who these people are because this looks so fun. I want to know what her response is. I want to know the relation because that changes everything. Otherwise, it's dumb. No, otherwise, it's just cringe and funny. It's funny because somebody actually asked that question. Yeah, if someone asked that of his sister, that's fucking hilarious. I mean, if somebody asked that of his girlfriend and he doesn't know, that's even funnier. (laughs) Right. (laughs) But, okay. Uh, let's get into our final topic of the night. This is probably going to be a slower, uh, slower, faster Tuesday night because I still don't know how my internet's going to hold up. But uh, so we got some uh, interesting things going on in Star Wars after oh, no. Ch- Charmin Obide Chinoy. Obide, I- <laughs> well, I'm wait, pulling a racism. Wait, no, She's no, no. chins. What are what what are you buckwheat? Yes, okay. I mean the way it's spelled, and she is she she is a Pakistani. I, I'd say that's probably Obaid. I'm not ever gonna fucking say that. Charmine, chins, fat bitch, activist lady. Ever since this movie was announced, you've had all sorts of interesting things come out about it. People on Twitter, left, right, and center, saying stuff. You had uh, uh was it this one? This fucktard come out. And say his two cents on it, in which he basically calls us all sexist man babies. But uh, you, you want to play this clip real quick? No, not really. I neither do I, because uh, I there's that. You know, you had uh, uh oh, I'm saving that one. Yeah, freaking the Young Turks. <laughs> yeah, we talked about this talked last about night. This. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes, the Young Turks talked about this. You had freaking uh, uh, what what Shank Uger? Yeah, horse fucker was being kind of judgy. What the he fuck was, and, was being and at right now. Discount is, Dermy no here idea. was uh, kind of a jackass too. <laughs> Listen, Dermy. I in my video, I skipped over this guy because his whole thing is about what she actually did, which I mean, I don't think anybody's disagreeing with it. But this fucktard, I can only get to the point of him saying, um, you go to movies to be uncomfortable. Okay, we're we're all about uh ruining comfort here. You because she says that how she likes to be un- make men uncomfortable. You go to movies to be uncomfortable. Why do you watch film to be comfortable? What? I I couldn't continue after that. But yes, dude, he young he, pray, he praised the sequel trilogy. Mm-hmm. It was so what sick. is this person's name on the screen? I, I don't know. know. Don't. We don't know. Uh, I don't know. It looks like um, someone I know. I'll stick with so, discount Dermy. I like this Casparian post op. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this. Discount- Anna really let herself go. <laughs> well, you got I God, I kind of like discount Dermy. I like discount me. <laughs> I By the too. way, welcome I to. I came uh, up with that last night. It was awesome. <laughs> I do like it. I think it's funny. By the way, welcome Spartacus to the Goon Platoon. Uh, I, I hope you have fun. Uh yes, but look up what it means. <laughs> Don't look up what it means. Don't look up what it means. After all this is going down, you had a Roberto Blake actually put a decent com- conversation. I give this guy tons of credit because I pointed out, like I highly disagree with you at one point because he gives Dave Filoni credit and says that Disney Star Wars can uh uh make good Star Wars. No. Well, no. his his reasoning was Rebels. No. The Clone Wars. No. No, <laughs> and Andor. No, no. First of all, Dave Filoni wasn't involved with Andor. Yes, and but I, secondly, Dave Filoni, he's he's everything that's wrong with Disney Star Wars because he's a, yes. he's been the source of basically seventy five percent of it. 
Hey, I had a decent back and forth with this guy, and we just had to agree to disagree, but he didn't know that Disney didn't do any of the Clone Wars. I, I the last two seasons the, were all Disney. The thing is, there's a difference between good and palatable. Just because Rebels was palatable, just because Andor was palatable, doesn't mean it was good. No. No. But one I of the interesting... Someone... <laughs> uh, go ahead, Cloud. I saw someone ask, and I think they were serious about this, how did Dave Filoni ruin Star Wars? Oh, do you have all day? <laughs> uh, I mean, I could just say he wanted to be George Lucas, and he never actually he, thought he's he ripped cared. apart the lore. He has removed everything that George put into it in terms of character development, and storytelling, out of it, replaced it with shallow, meaningless events that lead nowhere. He has lied, cheated, and stole about every, all of his own story ideas that he puts out there he never concludes anything he, he never delivers on anything and not to mention he can't write for shit none of these characters also, have soul he also faps to his own creation ahsoka oh the, she, he has he has a sex doll he has spent yeah. the money well, he's probably gone to japan and had him built him this the robot moving sex doll at this point the, i guarantee it yeah the interesting part about like robert blake coming out and talking about this is uh he's a guy that helps people grow their youtubes helps find a footing on everything and you, you know that's his thing his whole thing is about making your brand making your ip and everything like that and i i just gotta read the first three uh lines of this here's the harsh harsh truth about star wars disney is in constant aol <laughs> in constant inconsistent <laughs> inconsistent my brain just farted right there you just disney you, is wanted to, in, you wanted to say incontinent. You know, so i know you wanted to say yeah incontinent. i think i was about to say that and i don't know why inconsistent and has damaged the brand and ip several times something one would think is impossible this nope. is a simple guy that I... knows about ips knows about brands and everything like this building your brand and doing stuff like that oh Here's, all I gotta say is though, no, it was apparent they were gonna. It wasn't impossible when they threw out the EU. That made it abundantly clear that it was going to be damaged going forward. Mm -hmm. If you were someone at my level of the nerdum and you knew what what had gone on for thirty years and building that ga the galaxy far, far away to what it was, when you throw it out, it was damaged immediately. And a lot of people, it took another seven, eight years for that to become apparent. Mm -hmm. And again, for Jeremy the most part, this. Disney. <laughs> Wait, what? Jeremy does Disney. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. But for the most part, like this guy, again, he he hits most of the things right, except for Dave Filoni and thinking that Star Wars Disney can actually do good Star Wars. Um, he also quoted Rogue One, but Rogue One was only popular because of a Star uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> After all of this, Ten second clip. Yep. Disney's decided to come out. And save face by announcing the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. That's that's the name of that movie. And no. Ahsoka season two in development. Disney gave me two birthday presents yesterday because <laughs> it's now the tenth. So I can, I'll say, they gave me two birthday presents yesterday, and I'm I'm glad for that because I wanted nothing more when I woke up this morning. Seriously, I wanted nothing more than to make a Disney video today, a Disney Star Wars video, but there was nothing. There was nothing. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to scrounge together. And then I'm finishing watching g, g Daily, and I'm scrolling through things, and there it is right in front of me, The Mandalorian and Grogu. And I take a moment, and yes, yes, that is the Star Wars official Twitter channel. So it's real. And I thought, thank you. They thank announced you. You're, uh, uh, we, we, are, we have been blessed because now it proves – They've learned nothing. I, this is the question I've asked myself all day after making my videos and planning my own discussion for the night because I knew you I knew you put this on tonight. And now planning for tomorrow night on Natural 20 and Sunday on the roundtable. They have to see their own numbers, right? Yeah. They have to have mm -hmm. access to how bad these shows are doing on Disney+. Plus. And by shows, I mean The Mandalorian and Ahsoka. They have to know... Mm -hmm. That the sales of the Let's Get High Republic are terrible. They know that it's not working. The comics aren't selling. The books really aren't selling. These shows are doing terribly. Who the fuck green lights what is likely to be a 200 to $300 million movie about the Mandalorian and that little green fuck? It's yeah, the well, only thing they have. Th well, think no. about it. Go ahead, Devil. 
it's they could also be green lining it just so they have something to sit out there and put out there, but they have no intention. How many times have they greenlit well, shit uh, and then uh, all of a sudden they say this it's is a little canceled. different? This is yeah, this is a little different. John this Favreau, is one of the, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni, and this is one of the three things they announced at Dis, uh, Disney Celebration when they brought on the directors onto stage. You had uh, what's his nuts that's doing that thing based well Mangled. in the past. Ma J James Mangold was James up there. Crybaby Mangold. Yeah, you had this is where you had Charmaine uh, come up there to along with uh, Diz uh, Daisy Ridley. You had Kathleen Kennedy there, and then you had Dave Filoni, and I don't think John Favreau was there, but you had Favreau Dave Filoni wasn't up. there. Well, at least he wasn't on stage. I think he might yeah. have been there for a day, but I don't think but he was on stage. Dave there. Filoni was up there on stage, and this is their this is their like Avengers in game movie. Okay, th this is when all the Mandalorian. No, no, that's the Mandover. No, that that's the separate movie. This is different from Dave Filoni's. Oh, this movie. is different. This is separate, Dermy. I thought this was the same movie. No, this is separate. Oh my this god, this is Mando season four. Wait, what? You didn't understand that, did you? No. This is not Dave Filoni's faux heir to the Empire. This isn't it. No, this is something complete. This is going to come out likely before the Ray movie. At this point, so like this, this is movies. slated to go. This is slated to go into production at the end of this year. They haven't even, they, which means Favreau and Filoni have probably already hammered out a script at this point. They probably have one ready to go. So no, this is this is in addition to the Filoni movie, the Mangold Origins of the Jedi movie, and the Ray New Jedi Order movie. This is a new. This is why I told you in pregame. I came to the conclusion when they announced Ahsoka season two. It didn't hit me until I saw the Ahsoka season two announcement that they have done all of this to change the to change the story, to change the narrative surrounding Obed Chinoy. It has been everything's been beating up her up so badly for the past week and a half now that it wasn't letting up. They had to put something out there, dirty, filthy, fatty chum in the water for the short bus riding retard stands to chew on and sound like people are excited when, in fact, this is merely a diversionary tactic to sh to change the story for 24 hours and hoping that, we'll, that we're all going to forget about Obey Chinoy, which we're not. No, we're we not. Aren't, we, we aren't Zoomers. We have more than a five-second attention span. So no, this I, is a new movie. This is we've never heard of this. This essentially is Mando season four. I legitimately thought that this was the Mandalorian nope. movie. And in my video tomorrow, now I have different news, but I'm still putting out that video tomorrow. I outright said this is the dumbest name for your Avengers Endgame movie because I had my information all kinds of wrong. But this makes it even stupider. Oh, I I want them to keep call. I want them to call. Filoni's heir to the empire, heir to the empire. I desperately want them to call it that oh, because that's going to make it even more delicious to, to, to rip apart. But the funniest part is this all came out in a blog post, essentially that, Hey, we're doing this. And then also currently developing Ahsoka season two, which this also came, this article here, obviously this all came out today, but just yesterday you had, uh, I think this is actually from maybe a few days earlier, but, uh, Rosario Dawson outright said that they haven't been in talks to do season two yet, but they had a dinner. They had a dinner where they were going to all see each other again, but they didn't ask her to do Ahsoka season two yet. But I, I actually agree with you though. I think this is all going to happen. I think they're going to do Ahsoka season two. Oh, they because are. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even if the show sucks that Rosario Dawson says no one's going to keep her in the loop until it's done. She's just an actress. That's all she is. So well, she's not planning this shit so i don't i that's why i didn't I, make any videos on that stuff and i let it go because this is what matters right here i i wanted to do it but uh he said please give me a moment uh here i'm gonna start real quick js Pena, and i'll pull it up after this because i have no idea about this movie you want us to talk about um I, they're going to do this. This is their way of trying to save face. You're right. It's how they're trying to ignore the charming chins shit. Dumb activist bitch. Uh, this is how they're trying to change the whole narrative. Because you were telling me that during pregame, like all the Twitter stands were starting to talk about this. But this is what they're talking about. They're they're winning. They're doing this. They're, oh my God, this is going to be great. They're, they're really trying to get us off the target of chins and onto this and all i'm gonna say is this is gonna fail just like everything else and hearing that this is mandalorian yeah. season 
four essentially. Yeah. Is this going to go in theaters? Is this going to be a yes, Disney this Plus? Yes, this movie? is this is a these are this is theatrical releases. Do you understand why I said this is a 200 to 300 million dollar movie that these idiots think that Pedro Pascal and a little green fucker bastard there are going to carry a movie? Really? <laughs> really? And I I mean there I I've been tracking the stands on Twitter because I'm building for not necessarily video but for stream discussions for the rest of the week on my channel uh they are they think this is such a huge win they think this is such a mega win they have no idea so one retard who is purely i i ideologically driven i showed him i showed you his tweet uh pre-game uh he says oh man if they make this for 75 million dollars they'll make 500 million dollars easy you have no idea what these things cost if you think they can make a movie for 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 75 million dollars mando seasons cost over 200 million dollars each this is a movie and it's going to lose money. I'm on the record saying because of the cost of these things, they, they're probably going to need to make between 500 and 800 million to break even when all is said and done, when, when you account for all factors. I don't think a Mando movie, I don't think a Ray movie, either of them will make $300 million globally in the end. I don't think because there's there's apathy by the normies and the real fans are gone and the stands do not move the needle. It's just well. Simple. I think a Grogu movie makes more than a new Ray movie. That could be a fact, but it's still yeah. not going to make enough to make money. Well, I uh, when we were talking behind the scenes, I was saying I don't think that I don't know how this movie is going to do. I don't know because I thought this was that end game movie. I thought this was their culminating no. moment, no. and now you're t- outright no. like, no. you were saying like it's season four, but I was like it's the end game. I wasn't even like challenging you or anything like that. Uh, now and hearing that you're right, it is the season four. I'm like, no, this isn't gonna do good. No. It's gonna be garbage. People tuned out of Mando season three, less than yep. a million views by that. Fi- they lost hundreds of thousands of viewers of, of already an anemic number for that season by the finale. Nobody's watching the shit. Nobody's. I didn't watch a single stuff. episode of Mando season three. It wasn't your job to do it. It's our job. Well, <laughs> but no, but no, I was wa- I was watching I was watching all of Star Wars. Uh-huh. I watched all of it until Boba Fett. Boba Fett was the end for me. I was like, you know what? No more. No. Yeah, I didn't watch I, any Mac. of season three. Yeah, Fucking it's... Melanie Mack pulled the oh, cute baby guru goo on. Oh, wh- d- dude, Spartacus is right. I said that in my video today. I said that exact thing. Baby Yoda Grogu yeah. is made for girls to go, oh, look, baby. Yeah. Yep. It's it's girl That's, candy. That's all it is. And, I've and even the girls that. that hate Disney Star Wars will always go, oh, look, yep. baby. Yep. Melanie Mack, freaking uh, Nina, uh, Nina well, Infinity, Anna, that Star Wars girl, Anna, that that's Star Anna. Wars girl. Yep. Hold on, mother that's be X-ray fair, girl. Let's be fair. Ryan does the same thing. Ryan Kennel? No, no, Ryan no, Legion. Our, 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 our Ryan. Oh, yeah. Ryan. Well, our, Ryan, listen. Ryan shits in a bucket and fucks dinosaurs. What do you? Yes, mean? he bottoms for di- <laughs> He's a sub for dinosaurs, and he shits in a goddamn bucket. We we can't trust this man. <laughs> Listen, I if he goes, more. he shits in a bucket. Apparently, uh, I don't remember. I think he I, he told us to Gary. Deep lore. No, deep wait. Lore. He 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 shouldn't have told it to Gary. But yeah, he he yeah. told the story <laughs> on my show. Yep. <laughs> he told it. I don't remember. Oh yes, it was live when he uh he yep. also told it, so I can actually say it. Um, he was a mailman. <laughs> He had to go to the bathroom, and instead of shitting in the book bushes, he shat in a bucket. I, I dubbed that, him the that dirty bucket the sh- shitter. I yeah, think. that is the short version. Uh, Devil can back me up because he was also there, and yes, Devil did coin the dirty bucket shitter. Um, it, this story went on for like 15 fucking minutes, and I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard the entire time. I mean, listen, Ryan needs to learn the same lesson the cloud needs to learn. Don't tell us this shit. <laughs> don't tell us this stuff it, we're, we're not going to forget we're not going to let it go and we're going to turn it and that's what becomes lore see dermy that's how lore is created when shit like this happens you can't just will it into existence when somebody says something fucking stupid and we remember you know, we into it. <laughs> now i give ryan all the credit in the word he owns he owns this shit and he runs with it so ryan gets all the credit in the world for just owning it and not running away from it and leaning into it but yeah uh uh he, um, he shits in a bucket and fucks dinosaurs so uh he can I'm not going to trust him when it comes to Disney Star Wars and Baby Yoda. <laughs> I still can't believe he told that story to Gary. I just... 
Oh, well, I got Gary uh, saying he loves Dermy Wormy every time he sees my super chat. So there's that. Um, but okay, <laughs> but back to this. This is not going to do well. I think we're pretty much confirmed that this is going to be the worst thing ever. But, uh, you know, I, I really like this clip. I like this clip from uh, Star Wars Theory just uh, talking to this lady. Oh, that, this is something. Uh, you, did you almost call her a babe? Yeah. Because, <laughs> goddamn, she's fine. Goddamn. But uh, he ends up asking her about uh you know like women trying to take over star wars and i think it's over here is when it starts off but uh i i love her response all uh, right i'm gonna pull it back muted jackass am i muted fuck give me a moment i did it again because i have to do it through this fucking method and i keep forgetting it <laughs> okay here we go this sort of franchise which is already established now something mm-hmm. that's feminine dominant or, or female dominant whatever it might be instead yeah. of just a good story yeah i think what happens in particularly in western cultures where women have it so easy but they pretend they're not what happens with women who generally have it quite easy they enjoy victimhood because that's the only way that they can feel part of other people's struggle what makes human beings feel alive is when they're a bit struggling when they're going through something where they've gone through a bit of trauma they've gone through something it makes them feel alive what's happened with women in the western world particularly is because there is no real oppression but they want to be a victim so bad because victim is just a way of kind of shortcutting sympathy. Everyone just, it's a, it's a shortcut entitlement. You get what you want without having to earn it because you just happen to be a victim. So what happens is they want to start finding places where they can be a victim and then transform it so that they can become a hero. So what they'll do is say, oh, we need more women in this particular sport. Nobody watches them. Nobody wants women in there, but they'll just say, stamp their authority. So they can be a... What was that? I'm just laughing out. No one wants to watch women in sports. Yeah. <laughs> she's, straight spinning, she's straight spinning Bats. facts here. Yep. Oh, I love it. Local hero. Do we need more women in Star Wars? No, we don't. No one ca- Women don't even watch Star Wars. But they don't even care about it. It's a man's little thing. Let them have it. But they want to be like, oh, there's such a deprivation. We've got to be in it so they can be a mini hero. When you don't have anything outside of your gender as a way of being proud of yourself, you use your gender as a shortcut for entitlement and heroic stances. So um, I would just say, unfortunately, it is the norm in um, Western cultures to kind of over identify with your gender and then over identify with victimhood it's a way of getting a shortcut to being a hero and as a result it's just there to design and also what it does is keeps the power in the hands of the women and whenever you replay redirect power entirely to women just like if it was entirely to man it creates an unhealthy uh, society if the power is totally in men's hands it would be unhealthy if it's totally in women's hands it's also unhealthy but what we're doing is i i remember like uh, yeah, how they else find her incredibly well, sexy well okay here's <laughs> yes. the thing here's the thing here's the thing after i have had a long night with with her we've done many things together i would like to tell her that she is wrong about one thing here there are and, and here's the one mistake she's made you watch her, your mouth hey <laughs> my I'm, future she's wife gonna, I, i'm i'm hey you know watch her mouth don't let gal hear that watch her mouth <laughs> yeah. as she with me okay uh, anyway listen no uh, <laughs> she's made one error in her thing here she's she's 95 right in what she's saying her one mistake is that she's feeding into the f- false narrative that these shill victim hunters, these these victim, uh, these v- professional victims in the stand base want to do that. Ooh, we have we're girls. We like Star Wars. There have been girl Star Wars fans. I've known plenty of them my entire life. Well, but uh, it, it, I, that's my one complaint with her thing. She she's playing into that little false victim, false narrative role that they want to roll out there, I, lining up the whole obey Chinoy shit that's going on. I think it's different because I've been seeing this as well, but Star Wars is predominantly a male brand. That, that's I'm not how I do it. That. But, yeah. but I, I've, for, for a long time, I have hung out with and when it came to gaming with, and I know they were girls because they were on voice chat, okay? Don't tell me I was playing with dudes. Uh, I, I've Voice mods. In, Are you sure? <laughs> shut up. No, so the, I, I've, been, I I've experienced a lot of star wars content and enjoyed it with a lot of fellow star wars fans who are girls 
And I, I, I just don't like that uh, that narrative that they're pretending that there are no girl fans in Star Wars. Is it eighty percent a, a a guy a guy brand? Yeah, I'm not going to argue that. But I hate that false narrative that they pretending that we're all we're, that we are all saying there are no girl fans in Star Wars. And that's my one complaint. And after we've been hot and sweaty with each other all night, I would explain that to her very carefully. <laughs> Dude, she well, ain't gonna listen. I think you're doing it she wrong. You, I think you're doing it wrong. You're you're gonna correct like no, no, no. Get hot and sweaty, and then show her Star Wars for the first time because she's open to saying she's never seen. Star well, Wars. listen, she's gonna be in the Leia gold bikini while we're doing it, so we will have had a head start. Okay, listen, I I agree with you. There are obviously a freaking female females that love star wars there's women that love star wars there's girls that love star wars when growing up the star wars superman fan in my school that had every book every little detail about star wars knew it the most was a woman and i'm like yeah it, it, it's that's not the problem but i think people end up forgetting that it is predominantly a male brand so when they say it's for the boys they're not saying like women can't like it either they're just it's well, a male brand and Disney it's marketed, bought it's Star Wars the for the boys. Yes. Star Wars was supposed to be the equivalent to the Disney's princess for the boys. And they fucked that up royally. Yeah. It, it's it's outright retarded is what it boils down to. But I, I love what she's saying is basically what she's saying is the fact that you guys took away like the boy brand with the fact that you guys saw this area where the boys were at. Yeah. There were women there, but for predominantly the boys were at, and you had to go in there and say that you're the victim and take it over to act like the hero act better than them. That's why we're in an unhealthy place. And this is why women are like, people are turning away from it and are getting annoyed with it is because it's no longer for the boys. They don't have a spot. They, they don't have something that belongs to them anymore. They don't need it. They've got Call of Duty and sh Fortnite and shit. Now they do. But, well, they don't. They barely even have Call of Duty. Fortnite, they have Fortnite. Fortnite is for girls. Let's be honest. Fortnite is fun and addictive. Yeah. And I, I, hate I it won't more. disagree with you, but the younger gener I have younger nephews who very much love Fortnite. Oh yeah, no, I'm sure. I'm sure. So they're, they're cool. Is what you're He's saying? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get back to the fact that uh, I'm gonna. Have a lot of sex with this woman. Can we get back to that? Fact? No, she's never that's gonna. Never sleep gonna with happen, Adam. <laughs> hey, she, she's stabbed, never she's never. sexy. I, I you never this, get it with her. Yeah, listen, I heard listen, the same it's, thing it's as not... Adam. She said, "Please put a baby in my womb." Listen, listen. It heard. may be improbable, but it's not impossible. <laughs> There's a difference. Let's finish, let's finish up what she has to say. Then, then you can Google her. Talk and I, it was a mainly Gen Z, a very young generation. I couldn't believe how feminine the men were. I, everybody looked androgynous. I couldn't believe, and and I just uh, for uh, you would just take the normal eighteen year old boy um, would have been considered as a really feminine man years and years ago. They would have seen him as like super super uh, feminine, or they would have just assumed he's a homosexual. In this day and age, that's just how the men are come. So they've lost uh, the masculinity. Yeah, and so what's happening is. Uh, the culture is creating the very men women will not desire in the future. By doing this, you're going to create a bunch of men that you will no longer be sexually attracted to. And as a result, you'll be more miserable in the long run. Well, Sadio, thank you for your time. I'm well, going to make her not miserable. <laughs> you're not masculine enough for her is what she boiled it down to, Adam. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not man enough for her. I think shock has it right. What? She'll only fuck Cloud after he shows her his yu gi -Oh collection. And then she'll yeah, walk in. Yeah, no, here's the problem. Here's the problem. She'll be excited I'm about the yu gi -Oh collection. Oh, my God. Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm so wet. No, but no, no. Then he's going to start talking about shinies, and she's going to leave. <laughs> no, you don't You don't know that. Maybe she Maybe she likes the shinies more often. Cloud, show her your shinies. Always talk about their shinies. They can they can do uh the Pokemon duels together, but then like she gets a shiny of the legendary like and he just in hate like says, Get out of my house. Pokemon Get out of here. Duels? I don't want you no more. It's Pokemon battles, you fucked up. Whatever. You <laughs> Fucking goddamn five year old See, asshole. Jeremy wants to talk about Pokemon battles. We're talking about a woman who's beautiful with large breasts. He doesn't want to oh, talk she's about that. No, I'm saving this video for later. Thank you very much. I'm putting on a mute and just letting her letting her uh, do her thing. Uh, but real quick, J.S. Pena does want us to talk about this. Uh, not relevant, but while Godzilla Minus One deserves the love it's getting, another Japanese film that deserves praise is Shin Ultraman. 
It has themes of hope being human and monster battles. I I haven't really gotten into Ultraman, by the way. What is this on? Uh, maybe Netflix, because I know Netflix has been doing a lot of uh, Ultraman stuff. So I don't know if it's out in theaters or not. I never got into Ultraman. I know he's one of those like, Oh. Super, he's one of their like main heroes and everything like that. He, was there like an old Ultraman Godzilla crossover way back in the day? I, yeah, that that was, was, that that was kind of. They had Jet Jaguar was sort of a the Ultraman ripoff. Okay. I I know Netflix did an Ultraman variant, and I think they changed up the lore altogether. And I just I've never gotten into it. Hey, what's the hey, it, that, what's the name of that woman that was in that theory clip? Uh, psychologist and relationship uh, relationship expert Sadia relationship. Khan. She's called <laughs> Mrs. <Relationship>. Devil. <laughs> and I thought that was Gal. Devil's over here, like get off my Kool Aid, motherfuckers. Listen, uh, she's listen, listen. Sadia, who? She Sadia don't even know about the second wife. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she's married. <laughs> So this means I have to seduce her away from her husband. Okay. Devil wants uh, a pair. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, like I said, it's not it's impo- it's not it's improbable but not impossible. <laughs> it is highly improbable when you I, if this is her husband, um you aren't beating this and I can't pull it up cuz I'm not logged into Instagram, but I I'm just going to show you. Dermy Gal pops into chat up. though, I'm leaving. Really? You looked up her husband? I'm hiding. I looked up I just looked her up and this is the picture that showed up with her. You're not beating that. You're not no, beating that no. jawline, Adam. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> I got a better. I got a better picture. Hold on. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I can take him. Oh, never I can mind. Take him. <laughs> Bullshit. He's gonna have an accident L- in Minecraft. Listen, 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 Jeremy. I know your definition <laughs> of taking him involves spreading his back taco. My my definition means you know leaving him on the side of the road with enough money to get back, and when he get by the time he gets back, I've wooed her away from him. So. Oh wait, they're not husband, they're boyfriend. Oh, that's even better. I mean, a boyfriend is an obstacle, not a husband. So yeah, if, if, if you know, ring on that finger, it's still fair game. Mm. I'm, I'm kidding out about that, ladies. I don't, I don't mess with women who are taken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, if she's open to it, that means it's not that serious. If she's open to it, that means she's gonna do the same I know, goddamn I know, thing I know. to you, man. I know that's okay. why you know, love them and leave them. <laughs> Uh, here, here, here's her boyfriend. You're not beating this up. Plus, yes, I am. Look, oh, no, I'm sorry, dude. That, She's also that, Muslim. That, so what? Oh, yeah, that that might be I, that, that might, that might be a problem. Not a boyfriend. That, that that's her uh, brother. No, that's her. It says that's her uh, a Ferris slash boyfriends. Yeah, that, that's, that's her, what I'm saying. Is Muslims don't really do boyfriends. Well, right, I, right. I, I, okay, engage. That's, not, that's not how that culture works. What did you find, Cloud? I was thinking you were meaning because Adam's Jewish. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. <laughs> it, hey, listen. Uh, she'll learn the joys. She'll probably come out and go like, ah, la, 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 la. Wow, you're such a bigot. No, I'm not a bigot. I'm only I'm, well. Okay. <laughs> Shock says I am solely bigoted towards you. Shock says I'm not anti Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, Instead and he'll give you a wedding gift. It's a pipe bomb. Yeah. <laughs> he's not anti-Semitic. He's anti-Adamitic. That's right. Shut up, French. Solely anti adamatic Shut up, Frenchman. I have the perfect <laughs> place for you. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you See, I remembered. You don't like that. He's a Jeremy's a Frenchman. <laughs> oh wait, wait, Michelle. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eradicate him. Take good care of him. <laughs> In Minecraft. In Minecraft. No. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in a shower. Hey, Adam, you you're a chef, right? Adam, he's ignoring you. He's ignoring me. Listen, I have some ovens I need cleaned. I, I was going to see if he could do that for me. Train ticket home afterwards. Bag it. Me... <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, don't don't forget to take your shoes really off wanna... before you go in, Adam. Leave them in the pile over there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dermy, I destroyed you today once already. Do you really want to open this can of worms again? You started saying that I'm fat and I don't know how to, how to uh, fire anything. And you have no idea if, about my capabilities with a firearm. Dude, I was trained 20 years with firearms before you do anything. We weren't even talking about firearms, dude. I was talking I, about tranquilizing you with a tranquilizer dart. And I'm talking about you not even being able to aim with your fat-ass fingers. My dad was a trained uh, marksman. So was my stepdad, and I learned for over a decade on that Does shit. fat Same. fingers really matter no. on that? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, okay, what triggers. I think we fingers have here fat. is an opportunity for a duel. Is yeah. what I'm hearing. So <laughs> yes, and my what we're doing in Vegas now. <laughs> yes. Adam's Adam's too much of a wuss to go to Vegas. It's, it's, it's no, I can't afford to go to Vegas. I'm exactly. Poor. He's too much of a wuss. Well, quit being a broke boy. I'm sorry. Not listen, all of us could be work could be employee at the month at the truck stop. Listen, I well, hate. I fucking fire. hate. Pro, I fucking hate Pokimane. But when her cookie uh, debacle came out and everything, she said. Well, if that's too much for you, then quit being a broke boy, okay? I I, I like that, the way she said broke boy. Say it again, Jeremy. I don't know. Be, be how, much she, uh, how much was she charging for her cookie? Uh, I think like 40 like bucks. 40, 30. For a couple bags. Yeah. I, I'd pay a 40 bucks for her cookies. cookie. God damn it. No. God, fuck. What were they called? Cloud, like Midnight Month cloud. or something? Devil. Devil. devil you know, Devil, that's a afraid cloud of response. Dermy's afraid of cookies. You know that. No, no, real quick. That's a cloud response saying that you're going to be paying for fucking Pokemon's cookies. Cloud's a simp. You're better than that. Come on. I ain't simping for her. I just, I'm just. i thinking of her it's as a hooker. Simping for cookies. He said she was <laughs> worth $40. Are we are uh, she'd be a very good fan. $40, just like I'd be. Uh, she's I worth said a, my uh, price. She's I'm not going to agree with the I ain't going to hold it against coffee. her that she said hers. I ain't simping for her. I wouldn't fucking put her out. She was on fire, but if she says 40 bucks. I'll give her 40 bucks for her cookie. She's not worth 40 bucks. She's worth a Starbucks fucking coffee. 10 bucks at most. Maybe a goat. I ain't would... saying I'm going to fucking have a conversation with the bitch. I'm saying I would fucking go for the cookie <laughs> and then I'm going to fucking ditch her on the side of the road. See, oh see he doesn't understand that. Just Me? like, yeah, because we 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 were saying we we don't want to wife up amaranth or anything like that. We just yeah. want to smash it and bang and pass. I don't it. even want to go near yep. that thing. That, that's the hull of a thousand dead babies. I'm oh. telling you, amaranth. But you're the one that also said you'd you'd smash uh, what's 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 his name? What's her name? But I know who you're talking about. I, I would definitely smash up. Uh, Buck Angel, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, oh, there Jesus you go. Christ, God, Dude, Buck you, Angel you, over Amaranth. You would, you would fucking. That's not a haunted vagina. A fucking, you you would fuck a biker who has a vagina over Amaranth, really? Because <laughs> that's what you're saying. Buck Angel looks like a straight up fucking biker. Yes. Because you are a sick Buck dude. Angel, you Buck are Angel's a sick vagina. dude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck angel's vagina isn't fucking haunted what are you i'm sure? telling you a amaranth has a vagina that's haunted with a thousand dead babies i'm it's telling so you what uh, when i'm talking about making a family shit. i ain't going her. near that shit. yeah i'm not gonna fucking set up house i'm gonna be in <laughs> bang 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 <laughs> goodbye <laughs> she, i mean listen she's i'd be more worried about body, the, maybe. about the herpes than the dead babies i'm exactly. not I didn't say i wasn't gonna bag it either man I'm yeah, going to go into that un, un, uncovered. I mean, yeah, we, we know that, but that, vagi but that, that vagina is going to bleed through that cover. It, it's going. I'm, to I'm sorry. It, it is it, to me. It is, you need bleed help. We need cover? to take you to a psychiatrist. <laughs> not, we need to get you what? checked out. We, we need if to you, take if you if you straight break. have Buck Angel in his in in a fucking tank top, looking like a biker, but <laughs> happening to have a vagina, or here's Amaranth bent over, saying, "You know, take me, Daddy." You're going to be like Buck. Come here, baby. Like, yeah. you're a sick fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and and Jeremy has the gall to give me shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah this no, is crowd. worse than the Wookiee. This is worse than... No, yeah. this is just, not Just because you <laughs> happen to sleep with a chick who uh, who, who braided your back no. hair. She was... <laughs> no, Samuel, Samuel. 
He was tricked into a one night stand with a girl with fucking hairy back that smelled. This is yes. not on equal footing. Yeah, but you know what? It still was more of a woman than Buck Angel is now. <laughs> you're, you're, he got yeah, tricked. He got I, tricked I gotta into say a nasty I, sex. I agree with Cloud on this. I do, you know, because you're you're talking about get down with Trampa. <laughs> Over amaranth, it's solely over amaranth. I hate amaranth with the passion. She may be eighty five percent plastic, but it's a beautiful piece of plastic. And <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. not. It's disgusting. And stop acting like you haven't had sex with plastic before. You know you got a whole box full of fucking rubber <laughs> <butt> man buttholes. <laughs> I don't like amaranth. Everybody fucking forgets this. You notice he, he didn't even respond to that. He ro- he ran right past. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's kind of true. Man, I can't um, deny it. I can't deny that. Um, hey. She fucking me to her husband, got a divorce, did one stream like, oh, look, I can, I can finally I can finally be me. I don't have to do OnlyFans or anything like that again. And then she goes around doing OnlyFans and doing Tatiana streams again. Fuck that bitch. I ain't going anywhere near her. Did okay, she actually totally get a right. divorce? That's that's yes. totally solid reasoning. I just yeah. don't know why it had to bring Buck Angel into this. Because that's yeah, what the you're original totally right, Dermy. I'll cancel the dream, fucking bro. coffee date, but I'm fucking still gonna bang the shit out of her and fucking run. Good for you. You're gonna get me too. <laughs> no, she ain't giving no my away. name. I ain't telling the bitch my She's name. She's the I'm one having double find the NDA and get the fuck out of there. I ain't fucking signing a I'm logbook. The, I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck away from that thing. I ain't going anywhere near it. I would rather bang Buck Angel than go anywhere near Amaranth. I want to clip Devil's whole rant here. <laughs> I'm I'm cutting this out and putting it on Dermy Wormy clips. I still need to finish uh the clout my uh certain cloud rose because uh motherfucker owns the goddamn Lord of the Rings extended trilogy and still hasn't watched them. I want a new uh internet best friend. That's what I want. <laughs> I'm taking applications. Dermy's out. Uh, you say that, but who who are you gonna have help run? Uh, freaking get ranked. Anybody else lobby who lobby knows how lately. to piss me off can do your job. <laughs> <laughs> but can they piss you off just like me? Can anybody piss anybody that's off? True, that's like very I do. true. It's, it's very well, I mean, I'm not going to stick, I'm not gonna stick a finger up his ass while I'm doing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've threatened to do very heinous things to fucking devil made me do it. Uh, you know what? Uh, we're coming up. What the? Fu- no. No. Oh no! We're talking about Pokebane, and Drama Alert just put this out. I think we have another pickler. What? Another what? We have another pickler. What does that mean? Pickler like uh like freaking gal? No volume. Oh hell. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big you know one time you know one time Big taxis, smile. one time at Paxis, I was taking photos during the uh gearbox panel. And Randy Pitchford ended up doing the same thing. <laughs> I am, I am, I'm bookmarking this. I am so making a meme. No, careful, oh, dude. Careful, careful. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Dude, Fuck dude, her. dude. She may be a, a, a bitch, but she can destroy channels, dude. Yeah, be careful. Don't do Fuck it, dude. This don't bitch. do it. Fuck this bitch. If you're gonna do it, do it on Twitter, where she can't destroy your. That's channel. where I'm gonna be doing it on Twitter. Well, D- Dermy has a, a a built-in shield. He just goes, you know. I'm into little <laughs> boys, you know, like so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, and they go, "Oh uh, shit, sorry." You know what? I wasn't planning this, but I, I do want to kind of just talk about it for a little bit. Uh, how many of you guys know who Matt Pat Matt Matt Pat is? Yes, I know. Uh, I don't know that one. Yeah, uh, he is. Uh, he is a game theorist, uh, one of the oldest YouTubers out there. I think he's up there with uh, PewDiePie on levels of popularity and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, no. He uh, he is actually retiring from the industry, and I can't. I, I I listened to a video about him the other day, like his whole history, and the only controversies he's been in are have been like very small controversies, nothing like super major, nothing like a uh, career ending. He worked super hard to get to where he is and everything in the actual YouTube sphere. He's very influential. He uh. He was a part of the YouTube uh, Red program for a while, did stuff over there, 
had his own little show. Didn't go anywhere, but uh, it, I gotta say, this is kind of sad because I love the I love this guy, and uh, I, I I don't like to see him go, but all good things must come to an end, I guess. So, anybody? Yeah, I Cloud. Who that is. Although I I'm wondering if he's more now planning to, you know, be in Hollywood because now that he's in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that. Uh, I doubt it because he does have a family. He has a wife. Like he, he, he's one of the few people on fucking YouTube that like PewDiePie that has never really had any real controversy. Has a loving family. Has a daughter, I believe it is, and like he's just an everyday guy. Well, it's if like you, one of the if very you, few people out there, if you have PewDiePie levels of of money from YouTube and you're not causing any controversies that get you demonetized, he should be have plenty of money in the bank at this point. Yeah, he, he doesn't he he could have retired probably five, six, seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, and he has his own businesses where he helps out big name companies with like their algorithms, internet pr- presences yeah. and everything like that. Like he he does a lot of stuff. Like he is a genius. Him of- and his kids and probably their kids won't have to do anything for the rest of their lives if they don't want to. I'm just, I'm just over here. You know, it's kind of sad to see him go. I mean, yeah, he, I hear he that. Probably, he probably also got a very nice, hefty paycheck from Five Nights at Freddy's movie. He was in it for I like know. five seconds. But yeah, yeah he, he probably got like twelve grand for that. <laughs> Pennies to but, him, I'm sure. I mean, he might have done it for free because Five Nights at Freddy's is kind of like one of the things that launched his YouTube. Like he yeah. did so yeah. many Five Nights at Freddy's videos because he became friends with the creator. Like he is he and the five nights at Freddy's fandom are actually like super tight and they love him. The only fandom that he's outright pissed off was the, uh, the only creator and fandom he has pissed off was, uh, God damn it. Undertale and his, the undertale creator hates his ass for doing a theory because he probably had a better story than he wrote. Yeah. (laughs) Cause his theory, uh, was that Ness is Loxton. No, God, I can't remember the like one of the main characters from Undertale. It's been forever since I played the game or even looked into it. He thought Ness was uh, the whole story, like Mother Earth and everything, plays into Undertale because the creator had loved Mother Earth and all that, and kind of made sense. But it's a theory. Some not all these are always correct. Like the dude thought that there was a major war in freaking Pokemon, and that's why you can't evolve in season two with stones. They're they're out there. They're theories. They're just fun little things. But yeah, the creator he's, he's... hates so much that uh it, it's nightmare he cannot talk about undertale because <clears throat> that i think is his most downloaded video as well is his undertale videos like they despise his ass then he's met he's made it to meet the pope like he went to go meet the pope as a emissary of the internet and stuff and gave them a copy of of i think it was undertale at the time <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you guys know him, did a lot of his theories, you know, come out? Like, did he was he right about some stuff, or is he one of those dudes who always has theories but never anything that's right? Well, the th- reality of his theories were like very mathematical and stuff like that. Like, the only times you even wonder if they're right is in regards to like Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, th- that's the only time you're actually kind of questioning if he, if he's right or not. But for the most part, it's it's geekdom. Yeah. It's it's where you're going to have fun and like maybe this is the reality maybe this is stuff and like what he's talking about is uh you know was there a war in pokemon and that's why you can't you have to you evolve in uh freaking uh gen 2 with like items and friendship and stuff and that's why you only have like a handful of evolution stones that you can only get post game because I was saying, I'm so sick and tired of, of channels that are theory channels and nothing I, they ever have oh, theories yeah, this are, wasn't, ever come this true. This wasn't like a theory slash theory. rumors channel. This was yeah. more of the fun was in how he told the story of how he generated just this random idea of what something meant in a game or what it could have mm-hmm. meant. Like... <clears throat> It was definitely more of an artistic way. It, it just it just provided it. It just shined a light on a game in a different manner that most people maybe hadn't thought of, and okay. just kind of like, um, just, just super creative. It didn't have mm-hmm. to like come true or anything. It wasn't like a rumor or anything like that. Oh, well, I could come up with like, creative theories then. Shit, like Jeremy yeah, like- is not really twenty three. 
or 25. Are you 25? I think you're 25. I'm 25. Yeah, he's not really 25. Actually, he's closer to like 50 something. And he's actually Cher's son. Our daughter. <laughs> but you see, yeah, that, now you, that have would to be have, like... you have to have like physics equations and shit in this yeah. proposal you have. Because like he would bring in like real life science to like try you, just, just go watch one of his go watch one of his what, videos about some game okay. that you might have Cloud, been interested in. Pull up a picture time. of Cher's daughter and we'll compare him to Dermy. <laughs> one of my favorite we'll check one of my science act, out. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite videos of his is uh Mario's a mental is uh is mental because when he goes into like the lore of Mario itself, it was a uh, King Goomba, uh not King Koopa, who Bowser turned all the mushrooms people into uh, blocks and stuff, and Mario's going around punching blocks and destroying it to get stuff, and it's like, you know what? That that makes sense, but it's still just a fun little theory. It's it's not logic. It's just here here's something fun makes you think and makes you deal with stuff in a different way. And he uh, was why is it always? Oh my god! Game theory are video games anti gay? I need to watch this. Because he would never take like political stances either. Like he was a very middle of the road, just wanting to entertain people. And uh, I, I am sad to see him go. It's kind of like the death of Rooster Teeth and all that. You're, you're always sad when this stuff kind of dies off. Okay, you you pulling up any pictures of freaking Cher's daughter here? Or... It won't, won't, oh God, are we really need to look at Cher's daughter. It's not working. Why is it not working? Here, fine. I'll look up Cher's goddamn daughter. Here, I, I've got one right here. Hold on. Because the world doesn't want us to look at it. That's why. Oh, no, I don't want to look at it. I said, I said Sharp's daughter, not Cher. <laughs> Sharp? Sure. How do you spell Cher? Just, just look up Taz Garner. Jesus Christ. And yeah. You, like I said, you might have to put in son. They might not come up if you put daughter because... You know, oh, show wait. us Dermy. Wait a minute, I'm lost. Air, he she has I... a daughter that became a son. Yes, it's Dermy. I'm telling you, put glasses on that fucker and a hat. <laughs> so, who's buying in? Tell me I'm wrong. I thought we already established that. So as, uh... if, if the dude on Young Turks is discount Dermy, this is like special edition Dermy. <laughs> so Cher's daughter might actually be able to grow a better beard than Dermy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dermy. Oh, boom. Mind blown. Instead of having sex with Bu Buck Angel, there you go. You can have sex with yourself and you still get to see <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The sad thing is, you're right. It does look like me. That's why I'm reacting this way. It's like, fuck. <laughs> I hate life. I, I, I want to. Dermy Bono. Dermy Bono. Worry, life hates you too. <laughs> Cloud, you're just sending me people doing the, the freaking Nazi salute now. <laughs> no, and I, I told you the photo is of Randy Pitchford. Whatever. Well, I think we've come to the end of the show. Everybody's calling me a goddamn whatever. <laughs> uh, baguette. Oh, yeah, a baguette. Homo. <laughs> yes, homo. Uh, homo. By the way, homo not sapien. Before we end this out and go around the horror, Seal Hunter says, go "Where's the, the director's <laughs> cut, Dermy?" <laughs> I don't know where director's <laughs> cut Dermy is, but uh, let, let's start going around the horn. <laughs> In the same place that David Ayer's cut is. Yeah. And uh, do our do our outros. Uh, static. Of course, Dermy wants to go around the horse fucking brony. <laughs> <laughs> static, static, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Static2020. You can find me on my channel, Static2020. And uh, you can catch me... Thursday for the weekend pregame where we're going to talk about a bunch of randomness. Elon Musk has been on one this week, so we'll probably talk about a bunch of the stuff that he's been bringing up. And uh, then you could catch me Saturday 
at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Professor Savage Dad's channel on the Dadcast, where he's going to ask me questions about being a dad. Um, so that'll be interesting because I've never done that before. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the new show, Monday Night Bloodbath. That's coming out in a couple weeks. Yeah. Keep an eye out for it, guys, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy that and have a good time with that. Uh, Cloud, fucker, <laughs> where can the people catch you catching shinies and d- 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 stuff? Uh, you can see find me on Twitter, posting memes and catching shinies and stuff. And simping for blabs. <laughs> oh, shut up, you. She doesn't even follow you. <laughs> she doesn't follow you either. Actually, does she follow me? It's actually a good question. I don't think she does. I don't think she does either, but now I'm curious. Labyrinth. Uh, no, she doesn't. But she doesn't follow you, and you're one of her main simps, so. It's all... That is kind of talk- cold. I mean, she voted for you, and she can't even give you a follow, man. She's as cold as ice. <laughs> yeah. it might be time to hang up the hair doll, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> we all know Maza sent you some of her hair. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> speaking of hair dolls and stuff like that, Samuel the Infamous, how are you? I mean, you know, all my all my dolls are goopy. There, there's not so much hair as there is just kind of broken down matter. Well, I knew you had some sort of like Cthulhu magic going on over there, so that that's just why I thought you might have a hair doll or something like that. It's more like digestion, but <laughs> uh, no, I'm uh, back on YouTube, back on schedule. So we've got Abyssal Music's coming up on Friday on a uh, channel of the same name, by the way, uh, and Screaming to the Void on Saturday, same channel, and uh, Star Trek Engage on Sunday, which uh, should be pretty good. Uh, which we will be streaming to multiple channels and multiple platforms. I am now also streaming everything over to Rumble and Twitter as well, just in case I get spanked again, because the chances of that are pretty goddamn high, what with uh, the election cycle and my mouth. Uh, By the way, speaking of Rumble, I did get access to Rumble Studios, and my biggest criticism of it is uh, you can't schedule streams. And Mm -hmm. on top of that, you it doesn't produce a YouTube link right away. So until they so do that, ju- you just got to go on and set the stream up like literally right before it starts. They won't like seriously won't let you even set it up like you a can, little bit ahead. You can set it up ahead all you want, but it doesn't put out like a notification thing on like YouTube or anything like that. Oh. And then you can't. You, you basically once you set it up on that end, you're locked in. You so can't you can't take. It. So you can't go in there and like uh, attach it to the a tweet or anything like that. Essentially, <laughs> no. it won't. Well, you it can like... do it from the Rumble side. You just don't have a YouTube side. There's no okay. YouTube link. So there is issues with it. Yeah, yeah. There's issues with 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 the the Rumble website as well. I'm not a hundred percent happy with it, but it is um, another place to find my stuff in case it gets pulled from here, which it often does. It's always at least decent to have a backup. That that's why mm-hmm. my Rumble exists and everything like that. Because I'm shocked I'm still allowed on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a can't cancel you. My next project, BL's a tube. Yeah, yeah. fix this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'll I'll sign up for BL's tube and everything like that. You know, uh, do do all that good stuff. But you know who won't sign up for BL's a tube? Adam the Renaissance Stir. Do your log off. Okay, hi, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd, YouTube channel of the same name. Uh, you can find me for reviews, takes, discussions. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which means natural 27, 30 p.m. Eastern. I'll be angry about something by then. Tune in for that. Also, at the same time, Renaissance Nerd Arcade, my gaming channel, which will officially go live tomorrow with gaming streams because I was a boomer and I forgot you have to tell YouTube you exist. Mm. And they put you on the 24-hour cooldown. So tomorrow there will be gaming on there. Multiple times in the day, if I have my way. Uh, Friday, uh, if Dermy's internet doesn't die, I'll be back here for Ball Busters and that sinking ship. 
Saturday on Saturday night, driving 6 p.m. Eastern. Myself and Jed, the Hollywood Scholar, this week we are talking the Disney cult classic when Disney was still Disney, The Black Hole. So we're going to be talking that. And then on Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, the round table where we discuss the week's events and basically uh, have some fun doing it as well. And right after that, you can see myself, Devil Ryan, and his game lion, Horny Alf, and a Wesley on Star Trek Engage, where we have fun talking Star Trek and getting very gay about it. And as always, fuck you, Dermy. I'm watching the chat. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to bring this back up. <laughs> Professor Savage Dad. He's so you're agreeing with him. He's not going to hear this for a while. You, well, fine. <laughs> you agree with Dermy that you want to fuck Amaranth, but are you saying you're going to fuck Buck Angel? Are you watching the chat? <laughs> are you watching the chat? No, There's I'm not that low yet. Shit. <laughs> is, 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 does it say down there? Does, what? does it say down at the bottom? Right? Yeah, I, de I definitely I'm fucking Buck tired. Angel. That bitch. Definitely has herpes. He says no, no, no. Angel. <laughs> nah, nah. David Dury, why do you always fuck this up? <laughs> fuck Angel has a fucking hairy back. It spells. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm behind in the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm a slow reader. I'm a slow reader. So y'all got to. Then when he brought up, I was all, "Where's that?" I'm like two down. Okay, there he is. I was all, "God damn it! What the hell are you talking about?" Okay, as long as you clarify that you're not on Dermy's Buck Angel fetish, I'm I'm okay. Uh, I'll have sex with her for you. Okay. Um, just, I I've guess never it's seen my turn. Somebody playing catch up. It's so funny. <laughs> um, so I guess it's my turn. Uh, I am uh, Devil Made Me Do It. Nalik three on the Twitters. Uh, you can catch me on BL's a Pub every Saturday morning at 12 a.m. Uh, Samuel's on there. Um, and oh, yeah, that too. Sorry. And uh, then I'll be on his show. I'm on a bunch of shows. Check out Get Ranked this week. We're doing uh, horror ghost movies. And uh, then the next week after that, it'll either be 80s cartoons or possibly uh, serials. Ranking serials. Uh, then, uh, but I just want to say, uh, so that's all my pitch. I just want to say, even though I give him a bunch of shit, I love Dermy. He's a, you know, he he's a number one sinner. So, you know, he's he's always at the top of the rankings. Um, but I truly love the dude. So all the shit we give him, uh, anyone in the chat who might be new, we don't want him hurt. You don't have to come and do bad things to him or anything like that. Yeah, just rest assured. He's no matter. Going to hell. But it's no, yeah, no matter if you see my ad, you know, forty thousand dollars to off the piggy here. man in Minecraft, just just ignore that. Uh, it was all fake. I mean, the reason <laughs> Devil doesn't want me to go down there right now is because he knows I'm taking the place over. <laughs> that's true. He Heaven doesn't want him in hell's afraid he'll take over. That's that's yeah. his motto. Uh, JB Honey Nut Cheerios is the best cereal. No. I mean, I do like Honey Nut Cheerios. No, it, no. I like Frosted uh, Cheerios. I like Honey Nut Cheerios. No, original Cheerios is goaded. That when oh, we did God. it uh, twenty original years Cheerios ago, is my friends bland. and I, dude, no, it's so good. No, no, we did, we, we did, we did a no, we did, no, we Where's did a, we did a cereal draft, so and you know, boring. No, dude, <laughs> real Cheerios are awesome. You could do so many things with them. You know what? This explains so much. This <laughs> explains so real much Cheerios of why you're goated. so. But no, no, you know, no. see, I don't, I don't need fake things on my, on my delicious cereal to make it better. I'm, I'm a I, mean, I just, I only eat Oreos. Cereal. Yeah, <laughs> I, I only, I only eat cereal straight out of the box. I don't, I don't put anything in it. I don't put milk on it or nothing like that. So I just eat it out of the box like a fucking snack. I eat it dry. So uh, Cheerios is pretty goddamn boring to me. That's okay. all right. You, you just changed the rules on it though, Samuel. You that changes the rules. Yeah. No, even when you add milk to Cheerios, it's. Fucking boring and bland. No, it's oh, delicious. Okay, I have a question because I, I Ryan eats his Cheerios. He he takes us the spoon, puts in his mouth, then takes a drink of milk. No, Any, that's, you do fuck? that heinous crap. Yeah, that's weird. No, wait, which Ryan? Kennel or Kennel? But Kennel. God damn it! Oh, yeah, and and oh, and uh, Jeremy actually backed him up. Said, "Yeah, yeah that's how no. I do it too." 
hanging no, he, around he, all like, that nuclear fucking... shit made him a little retarded about food, didn't it? Yeah, yes. that is heinous. <laughs> they're they're both awful. That's listen. I love Jeremy. <laughs> I love Ryan. That's the most retarded take I've ever had. No, you pour you pour the cereal in the bowl, you get a little bit of milk in there, and you you know you stir it up, make sure that milk's on everything, and then you start eating it. Okay, you don't want it soggy, yes. but that's how you're supposed to eat it. And they're like, "Well, you give your milk soggy and everything." Oh, fuck off. Then don't so eat like a dry. bitch and, and yeah, get it down, man. Yeah. The shock Star is a very fat. important question for Adam. Uh. uh well, no, I cut my own bananas. <laughs> no, I that was I, bananas and Cheerios. That was what I had as a kid. Oh god, Cheerios and bananas, dude. Oh, what's the matter, Dermy? What's the matter? Hey, Devil, you if you got a spot for that cereal one, I want on. You, you got it. Mother I'll matter, put you Dermy. down. You need, you need your frosted flakes, Dermy. Is that what you need? You need, you need, you need your frosted high flakes high are pretty sugar. good. My listen, it's I like honey nut Cheerios. I like honey nut Cheerios. That frosting but comes I, often I, in two seconds. I mean, I'm a raisin bran guy. My my personal favorite has always been uh, either fruity, uh, not fruity pebbles, but cocoa pebbles or cocoa. Oh, well, you are a fruity pebble. <laughs> it's always been cocoa pebbles or cocoa puffs. Very fruity. Oh, cocoa. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that cocoa puffs are disgusting, dude. I like the pebbles, the fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles, but they go soft real quick. You got to you got to yeah. pound those things down because it takes about girl. five seconds for them to turn to mush. Nah, but who, but who's uh, this? Apple Jacks greater than both of those, dude. Old school. Who, who's oh, the Apple one Jack's on the good. panel? Oh, I don't like Apple Jacks. Actually, that's really oh, good. Do they still make Cookie Crisp? Yes. I don't like I don't like fruit uh, fruity cereal. I'd never have been a fan. You of just said cereal. you like fruity pebbles. No, I said I like cocoa pebbles or cocoa puffs. You said fruit. Did he? Didn't he say fruity no? Pebbles? I thought he said fruity, said fruity pebbles. pebbles. He said fruity no. Pebbles. I said cocoa. I said I, I, I was originally about to say fruity pebbles. Fruity. I was about to say fruity pebbles, but I corrected and said cocoa pebbles. Cocoa pebbles, mother. Uh, anybody Actually, here? Dude, Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. No, Any... I said co there's Cocoa Pebbles and then there's Cocoa Puffs. He's cuckoo for cock. Any... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you think it's kind of ironic that, that Dermy doesn't like the fruity cereals? It's like, uh, really? Well, uh, he does like the black cereals. <laughs> yeah, he does like, he does like the dark, rich cereals. Uh, real quick he question. Who hears heinous and, and into pain and likes fucking uh, Captain Crunch? <laughs> no, you know what? I, I like, quote I the like old joke. Crunch. That shit's like razor blades. It cuts your guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I always, like Captain it, Crunch. They taste good, but <laughs> of course, Sam damn. likes Captain Crunch. And he eats it. He eats it without milk, so you know it's like his mouth is bleeding and shit. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> give us a kiss, devil. <laughs> Ooh, cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh, no. Have you seen the blueberry one where it's supposed to it's like muffin tops or whatever and it's like a blueberry cinnamon toast crunch one and it's called, it's like supposed to be like muffin tops. It, it's like a blueberry muffin. It's fucking good huh. as shit. Oh my god, that's just Well, good. I'm I'm not on full keto yet. I'm only doing partial, so Okay. I, yeah. I guess I could run to the store. Raisin nut crunch. Thank oh, Jesus Christ. You like raisin cereal? Raisin I like raisin bran. Samuel. It's like raisin my nuckers. favorite shit. Raisin, raisin bran's so good. good. It, it's Crunchy and I eat that shit bran. dry too. Hey, old Mr. Grant. Raisin bran was, is better than regular raisin bran. Now, now we know that Adam's mom was one of those ones that wouldn't get him the sugar cereal. Oh no, she, she got. He's all me. like, he got a choice had, between like shredded wheat or no, grape nuts. No, okay. shredded wheat's nasty. I never shredded wheat. No, I, I, I had it all. I, 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 dude, I grew up in the '80s. I had every goddamn cereal that existed. <laughs> They're all still the same fucking cereals. <laughs> unless you, um, although you love freaking oh, Cheerios. Get it out, get it out, get it out. <laughs> you, you love Cheerios. <laughs> because it's a standard and it's goaded. No. Why? It because they're bland? so that, fucking, it's so bland only, that, and boring. Only... It tastes like goddamn cardboard. That's just the dick you put in your mouth every day. No, that is the reality of Cheerios. They taste like that's, oh, that's goddamn your only, cardboard. That's, that's your only thing that you can say. They're bland when they're not bland. Because that's true. It's toasted. Fro okay, oats. frosted mini wheats. I'll give you Shaka. Mini frosted wheats. Mini good. wheats is fine. Yeah, those but, are yeah. Good. But if you get those ones oh. where it's like a big a hockey puck of of uh, mini wheat type thing, and you put it in the bowl, pour milk on, it, and break it up with your fork, you are a freaking eighty year old woman. Hey, <laughs> okay. hey, devil. 
Devil, I think I you found your uh, panel for the cereal list. What about wheat checks? Wheat checks. Oh, I've, I've you know, heard those, about those. Those are the ones that look them. like li those oh, little yeah, waffle dudes, right? Yeah, little waffle dudes. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like, like you yeah. get rice checks and you get wheat <laughs> checks and you get corn and checks. corn. They also have wheat corn checks. checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. grants on me with this. I like mixing them all together because like I've I've had it where we got them because we were doing like a I think it's called a muddy buddies or something. You use them and you cut mm -hmm. them in peanut butter yeah. and chocolate. And so we had like all three. And like we had half a box of each left, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna mix they them go together." Pretty good in trail mix and, yeah. too, with like oh, that's shit. good. I just figured like out how to find flavors. I just figured out how to find the freaking Twitter chat. That's interesting. You actually have to pull up the broadcast itself to see the chat. Yeah. But by the by the way, uh, freaking Grant Grant agrees. Uh, cardboard tastes better than Cheerios. No, that's a question mark, dude. Oh, read cardboard tastes better than Cheerios. Yes. Oh, you learn to read, you dyslexic retard. Yes. Uh, welcome to Serial Talk with Dermy. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I, derailed I could do that. I could do that. I, I could do a whole stream just talking about cereal because I used to eat a lot of cereal. Well, that's what Devil's trying to do later. <laughs> yeah. I know. And we're, this is your this is out, pre game. Ranked. This is a little taste. Yes. <laughs> check out Get Ranked. And uh, in regards to all my stuff, as uh, you know, we, we do need to be uh, wrapping this all up. <laughs> Uh, ball busters this Friday. We're having Ozzy Overlord on, uh, hopefully, because there's more <laughs> winter storms coming around here because this is stormy time of season and everything like that. So, uh, as long as everything goes well, we should be having that and everything. If something goes wrong, I'm gonna let you guys all know well in advance, tell you something's like weather has prevented me from doing this or stuff because, uh, power around here and around here goes out really quick in the middle of a storm so until next time guys i hope you all have a wonderful day a wonderful night or wherever the hell you are and uh bye for now what, what? Did you do? Yeah. what the fuck? Oh. Hey.